This is are we recording? I got like a four. We've been trying to do this ad for a minute, but everybody keep drinking the water. That's you that's how good the ad when you drink your water. It's good. It's I think I, I think I got enough to, to last me about ten minutes. It'll hydrate your throat. A corner left. Right. I want. I want. You just got. I want. I want. You just you got something. Oh. What you win, bro? Oh, I thought I was finished. It's still more. Yeah. It's eternal. It's eternal. Everybody, commercial pose. Commercial pose. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Y'all find yours already? That's yours? I have a bad head. Hold on. This is my one. That black and mouth smell like Cinnabon. What? <laughs> what the fuck? At the mall. <laughs> He got a fat bitch. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's nigga, black Michael. That's you can a rich be like nigga black Michael. I ain't never smelled the black Michael. Your grill is baking <laughs> now. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga in there baking some, <laughs> some Swiss rolls. I did get comfortable. I was like, hmm. I felt like the black and mouse be like, all right, man. Yeah, all right, shit. Goddamn. This nigga got a little barbecue sauce in that motherfucker. Nigga got sweet baby rays, black and mouse. Never seen nigga who one of them. Jesus Christ. That's yeah, one of them Hawaiian rolls. So all like, uh, Hawaiian rolls. <laughs> 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 they gonna put you on, man. That's what's good as being around your people, <laughs> man. <laughs> and they gonna put you like, you know what? Let me put my boys on to some shit. Hey, I, man, I you want to smoke a black? Bro, I put I put Fat Man on. The uh, black and mild wine when it first dropped. Uh, you remember when niggas thought yeah, they were sophisticated yeah. with yeah. the Merlot? <laughs> nigga, I told that nigga it they had Merlot in Merlot for real. <laughs> Y'all man. niggas are retarded. He was like, "What? Well, shut your ass up!" Like <laughs> he was dipped in Merlot soda. and he re- he believed you for like you know a week. As long as you remember when the said. grape switches was a real thing when they first first dropped with flavor switches, niggas was like. Who is it? What? And then you had to smoke because the girl grapes. you fucked with smoked right. the grape joint. Bro, I knew, okay. I got cussed I out about a grape swisher. I had a show in New Orleans and I knew I wasn't going to get my money because the promoter was smoking grape swishes <laughs> raw. <laughs> raw? <laughs> he digger was yeah. smoking the blunt. Yeah. <laughs> out the pack? Out yeah. the pack, dog. No. In my face. I said, yeah. oh, I'm not getting yeah. paid. That nigga. I had a, when I, when I <laughs> nigga, DC, throat was made out of Terminator. I used to work at the DC. A lot of that I worked at the DC used to hit the goddamn uh, the Dutch Masters out Ooh. the pack. That's like Shannon Sharp. Yeah. Dutch <laughs> Dutch Dutch. Anything who smoke right out the pack of Dutch or blood can fight like tough. a motherfucker. They like to fight. That's mm-hmm. why Shannon Sharp so tough. That nigga smoke Russian cream backwood with no weed. Ain't no way no, you can you tackle that. Like, and then do a thousand shit up. Don't bust that motherfucker yeah, down after the show. That down. No, I'm that saying he do. I'm saying for He's Instagram, even if it's just for That's the video, for Brandy, the f- yeah. you take 12 pulls of a Russian cream <laughs> blunt with no weed in it on Instagram and see you don't yeah, die. You don't run a mile. Yeah. Right. See you don't die right <laughs> there. And he on spot. He ain't swear to nothing. Yo, on the spot, see you don't die. That nigga that tough. Nigga, that is <laughs> that He's oh, built for it tough, bro. Tough. Come on, man. He a real nigga, though. You see how he was on with uh, Nicole Murphy for a long time, right? Nicole Murphy, Nicole Murphy, bring up in the TV, but D, he keeps saying today. Then one time he had posted her. Like they worked out together. He's like my workout partner. You know, I, oh. He stopped talking about. It. I was like he fucked. He fucked <laughs> that nigga beat. <laughs> he oh. brought Nicole Murphy up in two years, bro. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, whatever. Allegedly. Oh yeah, we do that. She, 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 fun, she might have tried some funny <laughs> Michael Strahan shit. On he like, bitch, I don't do that type of shit. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, why are you back now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you doing? Trying to put a thing in my booty. Oh, uh-uh, no. no. <laughs> More than culture is the brand. <laughs> This is the podcast. Come on, the secret genius. Remo Rod. Ronnie George is here. Yeah, man. <laughs> Listen, man, you know we are on the roll of special guests, and it don't get no Woo! more special than my Boy, brother right here. Come on, I now. appreciate you, yeah, man. man. You know I, I, mean? I feel like I'm the, I, I had to know him the longest. Yeah, y'all got had soul to. ties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Carolina. <laughs> so, um, met this brother, man, um, in North Carolina, mm-hmm. uh, Greensboro to be exact. Shout out to the homie Drank, man. Um Drink. You know, put me down to, to be on one of their shows, man. Freestyle Funny Comedy Series. Uh, very um, underrated. Very, very underrated. Long-running stand-up and improv group and show. And they let me come there and do, do a guest spot, man, because they was rocking the spot up there. And, then, you know, I got to meet Darren Brand and, and B-Dot. I knew drank already. And then I got to meet my brother Chico as well. I was like, oh, man, my boy funny as hell. And he just talking about what happened before he walked on stage. 
Type you know shit. what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's er- we early in our career because I believe we probably started around the same thing. time. That's that's very around advanced. the same time. So that's super it's advanced. Super I'm advanced. over there going over my right, set. Nigga. Okay, right. my balls is like this. My balls. <laughs> my balls. <laughs> <laughs> when you first jokes. start doing comedy, yeah, your jokes say that is his name. That is the name of the episode. My balls is like this. The most relatable shit you can find. Everybody fuck. Let's talk about that. Oh, right, man. So I got a college shit set that's going to come out tonight. Tonight. Oh, about to break it out. Yeah. Oh, breaking out. And they pulled me in and and been the brothers and we were on the road, man, rocking ever since. Ladies and gentlemen, the incomparable Chico Bean. The Chico Bean. Ain't nobody up, clean like Chico Bean. Yes, yeah, sir. That's how I read it. Oh, that's how you read it. Chico <laughs> Bean. Ain't nobody clean like Chico yeah. Bean. Like Chico Bean. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with you, brother? Hey, that's your hey, man, heart. That's your it, man. Glad to be in here to see y'all doing y'all thing, man. You know, I support and y'all my partner's partner. So yeah, like, sir. You know what I mean? I, I just always am uh, glad to see that we still out here. You know what I mean? With all the shit that's going Come on. Come on, man. And all of the transitions that done happened since that moment you were just talking about. Mm. You're still moving and grooving, yeah. man. So that's the biggest blessing in the world. Transitions, yeah, bro. I'm talking about. 12 hour rides in the church yeah, van. In the church van. You know what I'm saying? In that bumpy motherfucker. Yeah, for real. But happy about it, happy. though. Hell right. yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? I'm talking about like just them days when we was in the, the, the mini vans going 12, 13 hours to go hopefully get some money. You right. know what I mean? Right. Not necessarily going to get some money. You yeah. going to perform and hope somebody. I fuck hope. With you. <laughs> I hope <laughs> they <laughs> fuck with me, bro. <laughs> 12 Ooh, hours. 12 hour ride and stand in a Motel 6. Like, uh, hopefully something good come out this mm-hmm. shit. So, all them transitions to be here, man. It's, you know, I'm honored. You know, I appreciate y'all boys for wanting to fuck with me. You're giving us crazy nephew points right now. I'll just tell you oh, that. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, listen, back you know. Back 85 South? What are we doing? Come on, hey, man. Bro. You know, yeah, my, my truck just the, fa- the fandom. You know how it different is. You got the, the wilding out segment of fans mm-hmm. and that crossover to the 85 segment of fans. Like, I, like even Nav said, and I said the same thing, bro. Being on 85, people gonna notice you. Our people, anyway, gonna notice you more for that. For and I've been on TV a thousand times. Right. 85, on TV a thousand so. times to 85, man. 51, Come on, 50, yeah, 50. yeah, I get titties in the building and then Kroger. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's amazing. Like it's, man, now so it's amazing. gotten to a point like, where people come up doing? and say 85 South more than they say Wild and Out. Got to. That's crazy. Crazy to us, you know. That, what but I mean? but that's what they see him. They, I mean, while now it is coming on a lot, but that's what they were seeing more of, and they can actually go and go right to it, like. Right. And then they, the thing about eighty five, they gotta have cable to watch. Right, you know right. I mean? You could, you could. The cool thing about eighty five and more the culture stuff like that is you could be in charge of putting people on. You know, black people love to put somebody on yeah, or something. Right. So when you putting somebody on eighty five and then they start fucking with you like, Yeah, I did that, right? Right, there. right, right. right. <laughs> check this right. yo, I check my you, boys. Every uh parking lot, the the, the person at the gate like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> eighty five. 85 play. I'm, I'm not even exaggerating. 85 play. They not paying attention. Yeah. And, and that, you better wait until I pause it. And, and then right. let the gate up. Yeah. You can't get out of right. no gates in the city, my boy. If you yeah. fuck with it. Bro, that speaks to the power of digital media. You know what I'm saying? There's more people consuming digital media yeah. than TV, than yeah. reading, than yeah, that's anything. That's what it's moving. You know and that's what I mean? the streets. So, Everybody talk about yeah. the streets. It's not the drug dealers. It's the regular people. So they got their own road. highway, the 85 South yeah, Highway. I mean, it, it really <laughs> is. They got to a point. I went to Des Moines, <laughs> Iowa, right? And I'm not expecting to see no niggas. Like, it's a I'm lot right. of niggas in Des Moines. They got well, clubs in Des Moines. Is it? I'm, yeah. yeah. Des Moines. There's a lot of boxers Des Moines. from Des Moines that are really good. Yeah, I get off the plane in Des Moines. You know, you got the niggas that work at the airport. Them niggas going crazy. I'm like, man, it's got to just be y'all three here. Like, right. <laughs> so y'all nigga, three niggas nah, know. Nigga, all you got to do, go to get something to eat at this. I can't remember the name of the spot. He was like, go to get something to eat at this spot, man. You'll see. <laughs> you'll see. see. <laughs> go to Popeye's. <laughs> you'll see. You'll see. Like, you'll see this, niggas, this, I promise. This soul food restaurant out there. And in the, in the neighborhood, it's a black neighborhood in mm. Iowa. And it's, and it's a lot of people that <laughs> it's come a, from it's Chicago just in the whole and all the different mm. places mm. that migrate out there. But... You'll never know. Yeah. And then everywhere we go, it's people like, nigga, I fuck with that shit. The wild now shit cool, nigga. But that <laughs> right. Shit, bro. Come on now. We fuck with that you shit. So it's like, it, it didn't really took on a life of its own, bro. Yeah, it's it just genuine like what y'all doing now. Like yeah. I try to get people to understand that we ain't had no idea what was going to turn out. We was just doing something because we had to do something. You know what I mean? Los always had the idea like, bro, we got to do something that's our shit. Mm-hmm. And that was just the idea. You never know what's, what it's going to turn out to be. Right. But if it's genuine and you really fuck with who you're doing it with, the energy is going to project out into the people and they're going to yeah. be able to feel that. So It's going to become what it's supposed to be, man. Right. Y'all laid you know the, I mean? the, the blueprint and then you know how this shit should be done, for real. To drop some history because you're a historian, <laughs> you know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. And we got one of the biggest historians, new face in the building. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? 
kids. Me, it don't count. Let new faith. My nigga, up. me, Kamal, <laughs> started more than cultures podcast in the same space mm. y'all record Real y'all shit. podcast shout out to loose thought i shout out to uh, loose and then you know we had our studio next door and then we started rocking there but it's just crazy how when you look back at it it's gonna be like yo atlanta at a certain point really created a whole lot of dope shit and it's always been like yeah. that for this city yeah. you know what it, i mean it, i mean it, it, it since what can we say late 90s Early as far, as, 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 far as Atlanta, Sinbad shot his special at Morehouse. My mama was working there, and she was at that motherfucker. So I mean, yeah, Atlanta always like, had its. You know what I'm saying? It's, but Atlanta has always been like the dream destination for black people. Yeah, yeah. like that, you could go in the street and pull your dick out. That goes. Yeah. That goes that back. That goes back to the mid to the mid 70s. Yeah, early 70s. It was like you want to make it. Get out of your town, get out of your city, and move to Atlanta. If you was a black person, that's what you wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Like, I want right. to move to Atlanta. I heard that black people was prospering down there. Work at the bank. Yeah, and then Manor Jackson, when he got the deal for the airport, he was like, hey, y'all better have a black company pulling concrete. We're going to make another exit or something this bitch. About, bro. Like, he See, made a lot of That's what rich. I like. I salute Maynard like, Jackson and yeah, Obey. No, Maynard. Maynard, baby. That's how DC niggas say. Maynard. Maynard. Yeah, Maynard. Maynard. Yeah, you know, it's like with this political <laughs> climate with the election and shit that's coming up. Yes, sir. I was just telling somebody like in order to be a good politician, you got to be a great liar. Come on. In order to be period. a great politician, you got to be a con artist, a yeah. full on con artist. Hey, and shout out to Sheriff LeBat. He won. Yeah, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sheriff LeBat. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, nigga. Come on. No, for real. Come on, man. Hey, that's our partner. We, we got good. your phone number. I had LeBat's, I had LeBat's face mask on. I need his phone number. And nigga was like, bro, I seen that shit on 85 South. Hell yeah. Oh, nah, listen. Right, hey, boy, 85? We know the Fulton we, County we Sheriff personally. Like, Come yeah, on, yeah, yeah exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's the power of what we listen. what we getting into, we man. Getting we in. ain't fucking around no more, bro. Like, we really taking really this shit for, yeah, for us. Man, I said, you want to go to 80? I said, you want to win this shit? This is no, I'm this not even no lying. This is no cap. No cap. Not cap, I call time. You want to win this shit? You got to get on 85 South, bro. That right. night. Like, if you want to win this town, mm-hmm. right. that's where they at. You that's know what I'm saying? But they going to be on your ass. I'm not even, I'm like, they on your ass. I'm telling you. Oh, they? yeah, most definitely. And so, it's like, even though that's the case, a con artist ain't always a bad thing because sometimes they con on your behalf. Mm. And that's the thing that, that we never had as black people in this country. We ain't never had no politician that's in the White House con on our behalf. Con we done had behalf. Guys like, you know, the mayor here, Maynard Jackson, and Marion Burry, who I feel is the greatest politician Come on of all now. time. Come on, that nigga because, up, bro. set me up. Yeah, Come on, yeah, now. Exactly. <laughs> that nigga kept it 100 That was my favorite. I hate that happen to him, but that was my favorite. around take. in D.C. with T-shirts that said, bitch, set me up. <laughs> no lie. You got to bring them back, bro. <laughs> what? All you the way. Bring you got to bring the back. Oh, well, I need to bring that back. I need that shirt. Black people. Like, D.C. was a majority black chocolate city. So... His power was used to create, you got so many kids. Now, the reason why I believe the DMV exists now is because during the Marion Burry era, he created so many government jobs for black families that they was able to move their families all around Maryland and Virginia and get houses and get out of the city. So that's how that culture spread out to them two different places like that Mm. because he created a a infrastructure where black people can go get government jobs and move up and be making $100,000, $200,000 a year. And he... You know, the summer job program Ooh, where dope. you go in and if you was between the ages of 13 and 19 in D.C., you were guaranteed a summer job. Come on, man. You were guaranteed Jeez. a job in you the summer You were guaranteed, guaranteed a job? Guaranteed. That's if you went amazing. Down there Bring filed, back Marion Barrett. If you went down right. there and they signed up, up, you were guaranteed a job. There was no... Uh, we ran out of. That's position. how you stay out the streets. That's well, that's crazy. why they came for him because yeah. he was doing shit because like that. Because he did yeah. that. That's yeah. why. They, that's that's the reason that's why amazing. they set him up. Because his power was no getting to a point where they like they looking around and he making black people prosperous in this city and they like wait a minute nah, nah right. whoa whoa and yeah. they also go to show you that it ain't never been for us. So never when people been. ask me, man, who, who you voting for? Who you, Man, I'm voting for whoever going to come for the niggas this time. There we go, so, man. You know, whoever going to come for the niggas. Who's going to come for the hardest is what I'm saying, yeah, bro. Yeah, who's going to come for us? Because we've been getting con since mm. we've been here. And, and, and they've Super been fun. lying to us. And you, like I said, you got to be a liar to be a politician. But gotcha. if you're going to lie, lie to somebody else for a change. One Don't, time, Don't keep lying to us, Don't bro. Don't keep, Damn, bro. Bro. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> we sound like a woman. Stop lying to us. I swear we 
Yeah. 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 That's how you watch the news now. You be like, you count. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro. yeah. <laughs> Yo, every time you say count. Bro, growing up yeah. in church, bro, they used to come to the church, bro, and they used to goddamn get the whole congregation on their side. And if you think about it, if you got 1,500 members that's listening bro, to one nigga. On that's how George, that's that's how George Bush got elected. Bro. Black church. Black, Black church. Black church. They showed, church. They showed it on the side. That's why I like Lena away. She showed a girl campaigning for mayor, and do pay, she paying the uh, preacher off? Like you gotta win the black church, bro. It's gotcha. always yeah. But like, who gonna cap for us, man? Who gonna right. get us some health care? Who gonna got who gonna really do it? Get Who's all these convictions out of here. Yeah, you know what who I'm gonna, really gonna lock these pedophiles up? Yeah, we should get so a lot of shit going on that we need. At the top and Camilla of the got year. hot sauce, so goddamn it, we ain't fucked with her a few months ago, but she is. Who yeah. got hot sauce? Camilla, you know Kamala, yeah. whatever Kamala Harris. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I was like, his wife. I was like, Camilla making hot sauce? <laughs> <laughs> and she told Ronnie about yeah, it? Was, and didn't tell me. I said, you don't know what's going on with it. Don't let me come on, come on on the entanglement episode. I'm like, come on, what is going on in here? Camilla don't even like spicy <laughs> food. I'm like, huh? So look, I saw it written like this. What all them jalapenos for? Comma, like a comma in a sentence. Comma, comma love. Comma. I'm Excuse like, help me. me. That's all. I'm out of pocket. Forgive me. <laughs> yeah, Camilla hit me up. Yeah, shit happened. Yeah, man. <laughs> How so we feel we about, I about mean, the hot sauce? <laughs> Hilarious. She made. All right. So my first uh, time seeing her when she was speaking about the Black <coughs> Lives Matter incident. You know, what I'm saying when it first happened, uh, or the George Floyd. I'm sorry, incident when it first happened. Um, and I was like, okay, this she's she's pretty dope. But then right. she's a prosecutor. And so that took some of that dope to take, take some wind out the sails for sure. Yeah. But we can't not vote because we got some thing against that's what maybe her past. And it's, or, cra- and it's crazy the narrative to get created because like people are saying that she don't identify as black. Right, right, like, come on, bro. That's the far from she the, the truth. <laughs> she, that's the most far from the, the truth you ever. Right. Right. That, yeah. they, people who grow up in Oakland move to Canada that don't identify as black do not end up at Howard University. Do not. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah, that that's definitely a good way of looking at it. Yeah. But, do and, and not. I, and then the prosecutor shit, I ain't mad at you for having a job. Ain't you can have, you a, have job, a job. But at the same time, I do want it to be addressed about how your mentality has changed since then. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, you we we don't want you to, to, you know, go what? from having a job and then getting another job and having the same mentality because that's obvious that that's not a mentality that is efficient for the oh, people man. that you want to support you. Right. So I need to, I, I want it to be addressed to, to us to where like, look, this was what I was doing. I had a mentality. It was a job. I was on my way up and everybody can understand that. But now right. I have a broader understanding of right. the community that I'm, Right. Catering to, and that's right. another so, thing. She wasn't arresting the niggas. She was putting the ones in jail that was in front of her. Right, like that's what you're supposed to do as a prosecutor. In, in that so job space, she was yeah. trying to get her numbers. It was, yeah, the it, is, it, it was from doing a, stats on us. In stuff. that, in that realm, I'm not losing, the, bro. Of the fucking justice system, because you black, I'm not finna lose a case. Fuck you. Nah, I'm, I'm trying to win jump every ball, time. It, it takes a <laughs> when you step on that side <laughs> of the justice system as a prosecutor, Talk as a black person. You have to adopt a certain mentality in order to progress. Period. If you do not, you, will not. you are going to <laughs> be fired. Exactly. You're going to be a you know what I'm saying? Worker. So any yeah. any black person that rises in the ranks in any prosecutor's office, whether it's state level, even more so on the federal level, yes, sir. they have moved in a certain way that is against the interest of black people. Fuck Chris Darton. Fuck Marsha Clark. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. Like, that's what's was... necessary. You can't be a you DA in but, America and not. Right, but I don't have to vote for the DA. Right. No, I'm not saying that she still has to. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. Still, but that's what everybody's trying to say. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure following the DA. To, I'm the, you know, I'm a DA not yeah. applying to be my leader. But the vice president is applying to be a leader. So right. there's a difference between following somebody and allowing you to do your job. Right. You can do your job all you want, and I can avoid it as long as I don't bump into you. Right. But if you're the leader of the free world, I don't have a choice but to, but to bump into you. With you. Right. Yeah. you know what I mean? So that's just where, where I'm at with it. This shit and is fucked up even way you look at it, though. Too, yes. Both sides. Good God. The what is Kanye is, doing at this point? The like, the is, Kanye, Kanye said what he's doing. Distraction, bro. He tried Kanye, to his, he went on the record and said the only reason he's doing this is to take votes away from Joe Biden. This is he a, said this that? Is a Trump yeah. tactic, bro. Out of his Kim mouth? Kim K. Pushy trash, yeah. too, though. So that nigga love Lee. How you know? 
I'm just trying. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying, <laughs> nah, nigga, let's go with, with that story. With, yeah. I've been wondering. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wondering how niggas been getting stuck over there so long. If it's hey, trash, man, Bob, he's but leaving too. Though, if you pay attention, he ain't been home for real. He been in Wyoming. She been in Calabasas. Like nigga, be trying to get away from her. She got a cheat code to fix after your credit up over there. That's what it, after a while, she expires yeah. on niggas. I see it. Like they really yeah. be in love what with her. What's the sex tape? Yeah, yeah. 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 Very, very blah. Yeah. Ray J I mean, didn't want to fuck no more. He's got a lot of people over here. He's got a lot of Ray J was like, I'm finna hit Whitney up here. I mean, <laughs> Whitney Davis. I, I, I got it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ray J's performance. Luke Tour, though, she been getting a lot of niggas out of jail. So, I mean, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, I can't knock her for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she, she been doing that. So, you know, so Oh, she to free C that. murder. I don't know what to do there. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. what I'm saying. Hey, listen. She getting C murder. Bro, I don't know. I don't know what to do there. She's getting Corey Miller out. I'm going to have to wear Kim Kardashian. She getting C murder out. You got to, yeah. I might put her on the t shirt. You got to forgive her for, you know, whatever. They too Yeah, you follow her. You got to get her a follow. I fuck with that mentality right there. Yeah, I fuck with her. Yeah, that's what she wants. What is Camilla? What is what Joe Biden <laughs> got to do to win though? Because we don't nobody fuck. Nigga, with just don't say vote. nothing. You yeah. just gotta let Trump lose and campaign yeah, with just the young let, people and get women to vote. Because women got Trump elected last time. That was the the main talk. All the women that didn't want to vote for Hillary voted for Trump. So now he got to get them to vote and young people because young people didn't vote at all last yeah. time. Young That's people it. just did like not Obama did. He got young people and women to vote and killed and kicked ass two times. Uh, but what if uh, what, what if a stupid ass story lead like? Oh, that's coming. Come on, yeah. let, 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 she did that young Dolph beat. That's coming. All oh, them stories <laughs> is coming. The Dolph. Fuck? And then the thing is, the fucked up part for them is you can't run a smut campaign on the on the president because he run it on himself. He get up on stage yeah. and say all the oh. shit that you can all say the about most him. Oh, that's that's the first point. You, know what I mean? you can't run a smut. What you gonna say bad about this motherfucker? He didn't been on stage. Nigga, the lady sneezed. She was like, "Yeah, I felt a little bad this weekend." That nigga was like, "Oh, fuck this." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this the pre- this the president in charge, so Bro, you can't run it. That nigga childish. Yeah, that nigga can't run a smut campaign on Slim. That Bro. nigga has crossed every line. He done had corona All right, in front of you, in, on stage, in front of you. My man doing this campaign speech last time said, "I can go in the middle of the street and kill a motherfucker." Shoot him right. Said that shit and bro. not go to jail. Come on, man. Nothing is gonna happen. That's something you wow. play on a tape. To expose a nigga, right? right. He said like it that, that you lead up to that. Like we got this motherfucker on tape, boy. Ooh. Say something, boy. And then <laughs> you play that. You, when a motherfucker get on stage and say it, that you like, fuck. God, <laughs> that was my I one. That was my. That, my, was, my, 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 that was a whole book. That was my big joke. Yo, he <laughs> eight miled it. God damn. Right. <laughs> Trump Trump be going through it. his speeches like you know when you got a little joke you thought of at home and you can't really That's get it right. You on stage and you just working through it. That nigga be working through his shit all the time. He work every time like. Right, he really freestyling like up there. He's like, after this, the next comedian, the next president has to be a comedian. We have I, to I like, vote for Dave Chappelle. You know what I'm saying? We got to find somebody. <laughs> Dave you know Chappelle took a Chappelle. flight because, to go because give like I said, you got to be Chappelle able. Chappelle took a flight to go give Kanye a hug, and he was like, "Do a joke, Dave." Right. Kanye was like, and Dave was like, "No, man, I want to see if you're alive." <laughs> Make sure you're alive. My friend, hey. I, I got a barn too. Just want to talk <laughs> he barn. Was like my nigga, I, I care about your soul, nigga. What's up? <laughs> he wanted to be like, put that phone down. Come here, nigga. So hold on. Right. So Chico, we got we got to talk about the we were talking about it early. The drip, the confidence, whatever you want to call it, man. You doing the new motion with the with the hair? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, new sir. motivational Chico campaign, Pongo, nigga. Chico Coro. Oh, yeah, I'm in the game now. Nigga. I'm living all my young nigga uh, dreams you, out. Man. It's never you too late. Heard LeBron get brave. It's I'm never too late. Never. Might as well. I need that nigga. That nigga would be. We would be able to take over the world. Man, man. come on, you and LeBron. I don't think he got there yet, though. He ain't got there yet. Nah. He still, he's still fighting. To, he wanted, he, he voted for wave caps. Yeah, he's league. still he fighting. Let the fight go. He had to. Hey. He had to meet him. About, I know about the Black Lives Matter, but can we? What about the, what about my wave cap? What about the cap? Can I put in the <laughs> Excuse me, everybody. I'm gonna, let's go, <laughs> so we gonna put what we want on the jersey, right? Listen. Uh, Wave cap. Wave cap. <laughs> you at home, in. it's going to be like we at the house anyway. I got one of these bubbles in the crib anyway. <laughs> I got a bubble. That's I right. was trying to pitch wave caps in the beat. So, yo, so, all right, so you started growing. When, when did you get to a point where you was like, all right, I'm about to just make this a thing? You know what? It was during the quarantine. I had put up a, a video of me boxing, right? And I had my, my, cause I was hitting the heavy bag. I'm doing the shit. Right. I mean, I'm hitting the speed bag and it's a technique I'm doing. But everybody in the comments was like, oh, oh nigga, you scared to show your hairline. And I'm thinking like, you got me fucked up. Nah, so I put the picture up of the original when it was first kicked yeah, off and my yeah. shit was fucked up. And then it went crazy. 
And <laughs> afterwards, you know what I mean? I'm thinking that, you know, I knew the year was over. I knew we wasn't. <laughs> I knew the year was yeah. over once the Boy, shit I went didn't down. want to believe it. That's, uh, yeah, that's I was, the name of the episode. I knew the year yeah, was, I knew the year was, was over. He was like, man, yeah, this shit you, over. This shit over. I mean, <laughs> you can go back and watch. I've been, nigga, this one is it's done. Over. You're not doing none of the shit. You All that optimism you got about <laughs> April, nigga, is over. Oh, oh, exactly. Second week, I'm in the, the group chat. Yeah, purge yeah, practice, like my you. nigga. Yeah, it's purge It's over with. So once I got to the point of seeing just how affected everybody else was about mm-hmm. what my shit looked like yeah. i was like i'm gonna show you just how much i don't give a fuck about on, what now. you think come on people say that all the time but they i don't got really going mean on it. i really i'm really like that like that's something that was instilled in me early because mm-hmm. you know my background a little different i ain't had no father growing up mm-hmm. i had a bunch of different male influences that i took pieces from mm-hmm. and and my household was a dictatorship it was not a democracy in any way shape or form Period. so i ain't had no choice but to have grown man responsibility mm-hmm. early in my life. I don't never, it's never been a time in my life where I didn't have man responsibility. Mm-hmm. So when you a child and you a young man and everybody around you is doing young nigga shit and you got to break off from that to go do some shit that a man's supposed to be doing in the house, it make you build a certain level of, of yeah. self-confidence and self-love because I had to walk to the grocery store with a cart while my friends outside in the street playing football and yeah. basketball and riding their bikes and mm-hmm. and i'm from dc i'm out the street for real so mm-hmm. i'm surrounded by a whole bunch of niggas mm-hmm. so i had to figure out how to be okay with doing something at that age that right. was completely different right. than anybody else was doing so it just built up a level of confidence they to confident. where i realized that it don't matter what a motherfucker got to say the right. responsibility is you Facts. what you gonna do how you feel about you when you mm-hmm. look in the mirror Come on. what do you see Mm-hmm. And I learned that so early that I'm by this time I'm already like when I seen how people was like, bro, I know you. I'm like, oh, these niggas have these no niggas idea. I'm about to I show am. you just how hard I go. And, <laughs> yes, you have. Yeah, yes, you and, have. Uh, it to and, it, it. and, it, and it, it just you know I ain't never had no you know I always had desire to have this shit as a young nigga because we all did you know that was the style. <laughs> yeah, but boy. you know I ain't never kind of it was never something that I wanted to do long enough to be able to make it happen. Right. But 2020 is just such an anomaly of a year. That it was like, you know what, this is perfect. It matched the year. <laughs> Nobody would have ever thought they would have ever seen, me included. If yeah. you showed me a picture of me last year, now, I'd have been like, nigga, what the nigga. fuck did I go to jail for? Right, I'm right. in prison. Right. What I do? Right. <laughs> so, so it just matches the year. And if I try, I try to be an example through my actions. You know, I don't do too much talking about the type of nigga I am. Yeah. You ain't going to never see me. But, oh, I'm real. All that shit lame to me. I'm yeah. gonna show you the type of person I am through the way that I conduct myself. Mm-hmm. So if any for people watching me, I want them to see like the most important love is self love. Mm-hmm. Like if you if you can't look at yourself in the mirror and be happy about what you see, not just be content with it, mm-hmm. but be happy about what you see, Come no on, matter brother, what. Knowledge. Do you know what brother, I mean? Knowledge. Come on, brother, you gonna have you gonna have some you gonna have a hard time because now we live in a, a an environment where opinions have been elevated to come on the most Bruh. the gospel. Yeah, yeah, it's like the Bible. Bruh, man. Yeah. High commodity. You know I mean? It becomes news though. Hot that's takes. how that's right. how much we care. So it's if you don't have that ability to be able to, to push through your own personal shit, mm-hmm. then once that world now start piling on, especially if you what we do entertainment, mm-hmm. nigga, you ain't gonna be able to you ain't gonna be able to handle it. You know how many times I see wild shit a day motherfuckers telling me fuck you nigga you ain't this you ain't that and whatever whatever and it's just be like okay i take the good comments with the bad comments the same because don't none of that shape me i'm already the nigga i am and i'm gonna be that regardless you know what i'm saying so it's just it make it easy so when i decided to grow it out i was like and it was you know my daughter really was the one that really because i don't give a fuck how good you joke you ain't fucking with Shawty. Yeah, she next she level going. with it. Because <laughs> yeah, she catch you. you and she able to see me when I'm just relaxing on some whole other shit. <laughs> and she able to just run in with the bow, got your ass, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and run out. So one day we sitting and uh you know I was doing a hotline headline and she was, you know, on that the joints so with me. And uh after we got off one time, she was like, Daddy, she was like, just to see how 
you make people okay with showing the way they hair look like that is crazy. Mm. And then she went upstairs, and I got to thinking about it. I was like, that is crazy, because normally yeah. a nigga would never, never. ever never. display. Yeah, everybody never. would. I had I niggas up. wanting. I pulled up in that Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I had niggas wanting <laughs> to show. Bun B was on there. Right. Come on, man. Niggas wanting to show. Charlemagne debut his shit on. Come on, man. Sure yeah, I was like, like niggas James. wanted to show their shit, so I'm just like, That's man. Amazing. His debut. That's <laughs> yeah. It's a debut, bro. It's a debut. Right? debut. I was wondering what it looked like. Oh, that picture getting published. It got reposted. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's like when I sat down and thought about it, I was <laughs> Getty, like, man, your Getty credit. I, I don't I don't take, you know, none of the, the power that God has given me for granted. So I'm like, man, that's amazing to, that that's the case. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to keep it going. Fuck it. I ain't cutting this shit for the rest of the year. Come on, man. And then once it got to the point where I can get something done to it, I'm like, oh, it's on. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I've been listening to niggas with cornrows for the whole two days. Come on, I'm not listening to nobody else, nigga. I was just listening to TQ in the car, nigga. <laughs> Got to put it down for the west side. I'm, not, oh, I'm listening to nothing but niggas with cornrows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. Daisy. Seems like I just can't. Kid, kid. That was my shit right there. Yeah, I'm you. Hey, you, you get Woo. double points because he was a cash money r and Yeah. Come on now. Oh, man. That was my nigga back in the day. Oh, no, Tila. Tila. T- I ain't got to be with Tila. I ain't got to be with Tila. I was about to say, bro, what the fuck? Oh, all right, all right. I was about to say, bro, Tila a legend. Yeah, Tila a legend. You know what? Yeah. And that's just where it came from. <laughs> that's fucked up. What happened? Nah, these things, because it's that's so nah, fucked up. Nah, I got to get the story. What happened with Tila? <laughs> no, no, no. This girl I was fucking with back in the day, you okay. know what I'm saying, on the acting shit, you know what I mean? She was like, <laughs> I took her to a Jason Weaver's house. <laughs> okay. And so you was on your Hollywood shit? I was on my Hollywood shit trying okay. to show her Hollywood yeah, shit, Hollywood you know what I'm saying? I don't know why that, But, nigga, I was. In my mama's car. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Who's the Jason Weaver, nigga? Really you the greatest shout Michael Weaver. Jackson ever, nigga. Oh, shout out to J- Ben is the best Simba ever. Yep, yeah, and the best Michael Jackson, this nigga. Period. Period. This nigga was I believe right that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Marcus. But, uh, yeah, so uh, you know, she she chose that guy. She chose you know what yeah. <laughs> no, 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 she chose, she chose Jason Weaver. Weaver. He yeah, took Weaver. he took okay. it to Jason Weaver house, and, and that's where he left. She chose that's where he left there. Yeah. I mean, it's that, all it's all good. You know, what hey, you gotta hey, learn. Where did Tina bro? come in at? Oh, no, 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 so no, 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 you gotta what hit you mean? That did yo. You went over there, y'all. You stayed for how long? Yeah, yo, I stayed for 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 life. Waiting for him. She went she went up to his room. He on the pool table till four in the morning, waiting yeah. on her to come yeah, downstairs. Come out for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the story. Well, I was a sucker for love. Like you know what I'm saying. Like Tell certain certain parts in life, you got to go. Who was searches. this bitch? Like, <laughs> right, right. She had to be amazing. Amazing, bro. Oh, she was. Bro, she was, bro. And so, like, then you know, uh, no, she was. We was doing. I was doing a red carpet. So okay. I'm like, yo, I'm trying to get you as a date for the red carpet. She was like, all right, cool, but I want to get this stylist to style me up, do my hair. He was a celebrity, you know what I'm saying, stylist, whatever. He tried me, though. He was <laughs> like, um, yo, I mean, your haircut is all right, but your back, though, you need to be like, you need to have a real clean edge. You got to be straight. What year was this? This was like, you know, 2000. Five, yeah, four, yeah, leather wristband, yeah. Rock so, jeans. So he yeah, put, brown uh, sugar was out. he put, um, a permanent marker on the back of my neck. sharpie. He wrote yeah, a sharpie. Yeah. He gave him a and, sharpie. You know what I'm saying? To get me like fresh. So, <laughs> so, uh, I started sweating, and by the end of the night, that shit was on my linen <laughs> suit, okay. and it was just, you know, what I'm saying, fucked up. But anyway, long story later. I, 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 I left her because she was like kept fucking with these baller niggas. Like I would take her to these places and then she'll. Just but you waited for you waited for Jace Beaver to fuck before you you, know, you, <laughs> you waited for it to come out. <laughs> yeah, I did. And like you, you good? <laughs> I, was, I was like, you need to ride. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good dude, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, I want people to know that you're a good dude. You know what I'm saying. Oh, About 25, 25, 25. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. What was you, what, how was the Jason Weaver Jeez. hate while you was waiting? Though? Was you like fuck smart guy, nigga? No, no, no. I was, I was, I was, I was slick. Like I was mad at her. It was never about the nigga. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But yeah. it's like her. you know they let the dog out. At a certain time, mm-hmm. and it was a rock wild, and I ain't see him all day until like two. <laughs> so in they were morning. trying to get you out of the house for real. Bro. I mean, they was trying to secure their home. They you know let. Them. <laughs> hey, they didn't know I was still there playing pool and watching <laughs> cable, but I didn't you have cable at the name? time, so I caught up a little bit on some you was episodes. Bro. I was just there. I wouldn't call it trespassing. It was the pool house. 
He watched everybody leave the party. Yeah, the yeah. whole party over. I kind of took a nap a little bit everything. I ain't tell y'all that. Just Whoa, that's man, embarrassing. That's a big part. All right, uh, with Tila, nigga. I'm still waiting on <laughs> Tila. So, goddamn. <laughs> so, all of this shit happens. Five, six, seven years later, I bumped back into her. She was like, nigga, guess what? I'm like, what's up? She's like, I married a baller. I was like, oh, okay. I'm like, she's like, who you fucking with? She's like, Tila, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I love her, bro. I don't even Whoever know she, she is. is. You know what I'm saying? Well, Shout out. Yeah, I mean, we She's don't like, know. don't worry about me now. Don't worry about me. I'm, I'm good. good. I you have ain't got to keep running me at this nigga. Right. You do not have to give Uber me no more rides. Right. Bro, right. before yeah, Uber, bro, I was so <laughs> Uber. Uber. I was very Did you Uber. Fuck? Never. Oh! <laughs> the Never. Song. That ain't happens, man. Boy, that's what I'm saying. That's Suck something only you somebody go with a pussy it. could ever do. Ain't no nigga ever Yo, gonna be able to pull And I wasn't like even that. trying to make you tell the story out of, like, yeah, no you time embarrassment shit. This no, is no, for no, the young funny. niggas that's watching to not, nigga, not go through that. You have to be a sucker for love know your at a certain point so you can be what? ice cold no, pimping. Don't, don't put that out there. Yeah, I see. You got to be. You got to learn. You got to be a sucker for love. You got to learn. So every real pimp. Remo from the church, though. No, I mean, fuck that shit. Every real pimp <laughs> done, done been hurt. And they like, fuck these hoes. Fuck this shit. I'm ice cold. Nigga don't come out the pussy ice cold, That's baby. That's not the case. Niggas come out the pussy ice cold? Some niggas do. Oh, and niggas ain't never, I ain't never been hurt to where I'm like, fuck these bitches in my life. Really? Ever. Hmm. I've been confused. But I ain't never been so bad that I'm like, man, all these bitches gonna catch it. Cause this whole thing hurt motherfucker. <laughs> ah, never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't never. think it's no and really I, You know what? I think I you know, I think the reason for that is because I've never had the example of what it looks like for a man to be like just head over heels for any woman. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't come from that type of environment. Like my yeah, father was dead. My uncles was in the streets, like mm-hmm. real niggas that was in pimping and doing all that good shit. Yeah. So I was able to get Direct messages from real whores who I love. Mm-hmm. Salute to all the real ones out there. I love all y'all. Shout real. out to the sex workers. Like, all of them. <laughs> if you a real one, I if salute you, you right. because you be they, they honest. And I got I was able to get a lot of lessons in, in life early that I didn't want to have at that time. Like right. I said, my my shit was a dictatorship, bro. Like so you grew up like, like Richard Pryor. And and real for shit. real, I mean not as not that bad, yeah. but but at the same time, you know, the way that the men told me in my life. Whenever something happened to them and they was mm. fucked up about it, they would pull me to the side and give me a whole lecture mm. about some grown man shit. Never got that. And I'm Never like, that, my yeah. nigga, like, why? I'm trying to ride my bike. Why I got to go to the Safeway. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know I got to go to the grocery store at 430. <laughs> right. Fuck my bike time up with this story. <laughs> my bike time. <laughs> but as I started to grow into becoming a man like i'd have realized that you'll never understand what a man go through until you become a man real shit and when i became a man i'm so thankful for them messages because Mm -hmm. it's like oh this nigga really gained me up to where i can see it coming you know Mm -hmm. what i mean i'm able to see things coming that a lot of niggas don't see coming like my uncle told me when i was 11 years old nigga if you don't wake up in the morning to wash your pussy it'll never belong to you it's not yours. I ain't never At had a pussy then. No, it's not. You never have. I Everyone ain't. that you ever got was given to you. Yeah. Nothing that you do, no amount of dick <laughs> do you put on her. No, no. That's fact. It's toys. never yours. It's hers. Your job is to make sure that whatever you are is as crisp and as the shit as can be. So whatever she decides to do with it, it's beneficial to you as it is to her. Come but on. it's never yours. Never you know what I mean? And Drop I a ding on that, that yeah. Yeah. Message. And then, but once I became a man, I realized, okay, I got a lot of lessons. To where I was able to avoid a lot of shit that I see niggas go through. I've been in one real relationship, and that's with the mother of my child, mm-hmm. who I love to death. Mm-hmm. But we didn't have no situation to where it was she did something so fucked up to me that it soured my opinion about women. Mm-hmm. I met her when we was 18, and we basically grew up together. So all of the, and I before that, I wanted to be like the niggas I was around, so I didn't even think I could be in love. Type so shit. that's what I learned. I'm mm-hmm. like, oh shit, this shit real. Mm-hmm. But after it was over i realized that it don't have to be real the way it's been taught to you you know what i mean you can develop your own mentality about how this shit works Facts. and that's the only thing that we follow without question we are question religion we are question everything but when it comes to love if it ain't this way then it don't count mm. so it's like nigga, get the fuck out of here like yeah. and that's the way i've been able to avoid a lot of shit. but a lot of the niggas i come up from being around like we ain't never had examples of what it looked like for a man to be 
and I don't want to say good to a woman, but to, to do right by a woman. Mm -hmm. Like, I watched my mother go through relationships my whole life, and one thing that a nigga never did was keep it real with her. Mm -hmm. Nigga ain't never give her the choice to That's... fuck with what he really was, because, you know, he was doing what niggas do. And I couldn't understand it at that time, but now as a grown man, I realized, okay, I see why them niggas was doing that, because I ain't never had to fuck with my mama like that. <laughs> like, I don't know what type of woman I she was in a relationship. Right. I just know what she was as my mama, right, and I'm, right. she gonna always be my mama, but as, when I started to deal with women, you realize, like, you gotta be a, you gotta have a level of, it's different levels of responsibility being a man. It's different levels, and the higher you get as a man, them responsibilities become more and more difficult to, to internalize and deal with. Right. And I'd never make an excuse for a nigga who don't take care of his kids, but as you become a man and start to see how shit go, you be like, I see how a nigga can run away from that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's That's no exactly excuse for it, but I see how a nigga can yeah, run yeah, away yeah, from yeah, it. Yeah, like, because fuck this. fuck this shit. Like, fuck <laughs> this shit. Because Real you think shit. like, just because somebody is fuckable don't mean they frequentable. You know what Damn. I'm saying? Another Come on, man. Just because you, because you know we, nigga, and that's go for men and women. Right. Just because you want to fuck somebody don't mean you want to be around them all the time. Come on, man. So if you fuck around and 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 mm. have a mishap, now you are locked in for life. Mm. So that's not some responsibility that you ready, wanted, ready. and yeah, then you could no. be like, man, man, fuck this shit, bitch. <laughs> <I'm out. laughs> you know what I mean? And many and, niggas have done it. Yeah, many, many niggas, niggas have done it. So it's just you know my lessons have have. As fucked up as a lot of people may have seen my childhood to be, as in regards to the shit that I missed out on, quote unquote, I'm thankful as fuck that I was raised the way I was raised. Right. Because it taught me, like they was prepping me for the real world. I ain't never got shit sugar-coated to me. That just was not That's how amazing, it was bro. in the Bean household, bro. Like at all, and I think, about, I think back about it now and I be like, man, some of that shit they could have lied to me about. Like they could have <laughs> just gave me, like let me figure it out on my own. Yeah. like. Cause it was so rough Too at that real. time. Like my, my, when I, you know, realized that my father was dead. You know what I mean? My mama told me straight, look, he dead. He not coming back. He ain't, no matter what you do in life, he ain't gonna never be there. Mm -hmm. So get used to it. Or you're gonna be crying forever. And that was it. Yeah. So it's like, you start to realize what death is that early. You know what right. I mean? And right. internalizing that. So right. that's why I'm so big on like, you know, I'm working on getting a program together where I have, you know, the, uh, the the children of murder fathers, like just oh, to dope. be able to have them come together and get male influence guys like us that's to be dope. able to show up on a weekend mm -hmm. and have, you know, them be able to just be around some men yeah, and get some game. Yeah. You know what that. I mean? Because that's, that's so important because you miss so much of that. That's you dope. end up having to figure out shit on your own because mm -hmm. you don't have that reference point Thanks. to teach you what you supposed to do in these situations. Now there's a positive and a negative to that. The, po the negative is all the shit that we know. The positive is I ain't never had no standard to live up to. So I've been able to just pretty much, you know, lay my own blueprint yeah. without the pressures of impressing my father. Mm. And a lot of niggas don't see that point, but you know, like mm -hmm. you growing up without a dad, you ain't never had to deal with the, the, the process of, man, my father feel like this, or I got to, I got to impress this nigga. Yeah, I got to do this. Real. I got to make him feel this way. He got to be, you know, proud of me. Right. You ain't never had to deal with, deal with that. So you'd have been able to avoid a lot of the pitfalls that niggas who do have their father go through because they get to that point where they start yeah. to bump heads. And that can deteriorate you as a man. You know yeah, what I mean? Man. I've, had, so I've had both shoot. though. Like my parents got divorced because my dad was like super abusive at first. So it was like, fuck this nigga for a long time. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So then it's like, you see them go through changes, fixing themselves, and then they get back together. But you, for a while, you like, fuck this fuck nigga. Fuck this nigga still. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know still, what I'm saying? Fuck real. that Bible study, too. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that Bible study. But, you know, as a, you know, you have to see a man do better. You have right. to see a man exactly. do it. Like, I had to watch him turn into who he turned into. So, yeah, and I was like, that's why I told my wife, I was like, I ain't find out my dad was cool till I was 30. You Come know on, what I'm saying? Right. Like, he, I always knew he was cool, but. He wasn't he was cool like, to you. Yeah, he was like really cool, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like up on the music first shit, like a lot of shit I like to do, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I, you lose a lot of time with like me and not knowing how to express shit, me and not knowing how to right. go yeah. get some counseling. He had to go to therapy. He went to therapy. Like I do stress therapy for a lot of motherfuckers. A lot of people don't need it. A lot of people do need it. Like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. important. Give it a you shot. Know I mean? Go smoke. Got there. I say it. just yeah. give it a shot. Yeah, that was yeah. the therapy. And the therapy in the Bean household was straightforward, nigga. Right. Give a fuck about how you feel, nigga. Hell yeah. <laughs> fuck you talking about. <laughs> like, I'm talking Little about nigga. for real. Like, that's... for real. Like, people ask me, like, the Twister lyrics and shit. That was a punishment for me when I was young. <laughs> the Twister lyrics. Yeah, yeah for the, real. You can sing a rap all, yeah. damn near all the Twister yeah. songs. 
Word like, for word. Literally, my uncle used to be like, look, nigga, because I used to walk around with an attitude. Like, because I get in trouble. You know what I mean? My mama don't give up my man Wanda different. She was like, nigga, you ain't going nowhere. Like, right. I told you, I told the story in the 85 South Show. She made my friends come play football in front of the house and made me stand in the screen door and watch them niggas. Oh, that's good. type <laughs> shit. That's the type, these are the type of people I'm dealing with, right? So, because I be, cause I be walking around mad. Shit. Yeah, I that's be walking around level. mad because I know there is no coming back three hours later right. and the mind and change it's over with. <laughs> it's over so the way that you know the male influences <laughs> in my life affected me like my uncle god rest his soul he used to come in the house and see me walking around with an attitude I'm like nigga little big head nigga fuck around with you <laughs> I'm like man i can't go outside because of whatever i'm a little kid probably. Piped up. yeah he was like all right look so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna give you this tape you learn this <laughs> motherfucking song by the time i get back you can go outside. Oh my God. <laughs> I deal with your mama. You don't learn you. it, but beat your ass. Oh my God. She <laughs> should have when you walk around like you pay some bills around here, little big head ass nigga. So now I'm thinking like, oh, I got her out. And then it's like, oh, nigga, this shit hard. that shit. <laughs> but it gave me something to do. Yeah. And it gave me something to do that not a lot of motherfuckers could do. Mm -hmm. So now as a grown man, people are like, how do you do that? You and I'm talent. just thinking like, nigga, that's just some shit that I grew up with. So it's just, you know, uh, my background is so different and I done lost so many of the people that mean so much to me, yes, you know sir. what I mean? And, and and when you lose them, you realize the value of the lessons a lot more Boy, like, than you did when they was there. Mm -hmm. Like I talk to my mama every day, like, and we ain't had no relationship growing up where she was like, oh, my baby, that was not our relationship. She, the, her theory was, I can't teach you how to be no man, but you damn sure ain't gonna be no bitch around here. Mm -hmm. So now that I'm a grown man and she feel like it worked, she <laughs> can let all of that shit that she felt like she should have been doing yeah. right, back then, and she get, and I want and I'm gonna give her let that, her guard down yeah, all the time because I know that at that point that's what you felt like you had to do. Right. And you ain't had nobody yeah, helping yeah. you figure it out. Right. What no therapy, you know? What I mean, niggas ain't afford no shit like that. Mm -hmm. So it's you figured it out the best way you could, and luckily for me, my mind worked to where I've been able to apply the positive. To all of this shit that everybody else like niggas would have hated my mama growing up, bro. Like, hey, bro, that's why I be telling my nephew, bro. I'm like, you don't know your you grandma know, at bro. all, bro. Yeah, you would have <laughs> niggas would have hated my mama. You I'm don't talking know. about big time hated. Like, I can't stand. I'm running away for real. Mm -hmm. Nigga, like, I told y'all, nigga, I ran away for like 48 hours, nigga. That's long for this shit. <laughs> I gotta go home. But see, that's the thing. The difference. <laughs> my mama had guns and shit, so. It, my mom was like, my dad's like, anybody gonna kidnap your big ass. Like, <laughs> going out there. But, Come on, But man. see, that's the thing. If I'd have ran away, wasn't no coming back. Mm -hmm. Ain't no, nigga, you, you run in away, nigga, you on your own. <laughs> I fuck with you. I fuck God with you. you. God bless I fuck you, with you. I'm dead serious. Fuck with you, because it's, it's like, hilarious. my mama been getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning to go to work my whole life. Still do. She just, that's just in her. She mm -hmm. just always, I gotta, I gotta go get it for my family. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And you can't can't make that go away no matter what it is that you do as I'm always going to be her baby. So right. when I see that what she had to go through at that time when she was really responsible for the roof and the food and Come the on. clothes and everything, it's like, how the fuck could I be mad at anything that I didn't like? At the, the, the fuck, nigga, you get out your village, you little bitch ass nigga. <laughs> you know, and I didn't know that then, but now I can say that and be confident in it so if anybody watching this and you young and you feel like your household is fucked up it might be but man it's positive to everything man yes, you got to yeah. make that shit work in your favor because right. at the end of the day nigga you either going to deal with it or jump off a bridge and and yeah. the bridge always going to be there and the world always going to be there so you got to mm -hmm. pick one champ that's yeah. a good moment man when you when your parents like or your mom or dad or whatever like see that what they did like you said is working and they mm -hmm. let their guard down and they're mm -hmm. no longer like just parenting you you right. see the real yeah. person like yeah. you said you got cool with your dad like, my mom love to tell me how much weed she used to smoke now bro that's hilarious she, she, <laughs> she's, i told you what she told about us I said, I'm gonna smoke y'all under the table. She's like, we was like 15 cents a pound just because economics, y'all couldn't have more than us. <laughs> that's dope. <laughs> just because economics, like, I had way more weed than Yeah, yo. that's dope, man. That's mm -hmm. dope to be able to get to that point. Like, I never, Real I dope. never talked about my father with my mother, you know what I mean? Except for like the first time I went to his gravesite. And I that's went. cool about mom. Like, your mom never talked to you, like, good or bad either way. Nah. Mom's, mom's the same way. Never mom's talked to me about my father, but it, you know, he got killed, so. It was a different situation right. for her, and that's how I even got into comedy. You know, what I mean, doing comedy because I graduated from Winston Salem State, and 
was like, nigga, what I'm going to do? Because I went to get a job while I interned that, and they was tripping with that $6.50 an hour. I've been no, hustling no. forever. Like, right. nigga, I, no, it's not going to work for me. No, he's so, that's his Foot Locker. Yeah, Only exactly. Foot Locker can play yeah, for that right. nigga I'm going to get the shoes. Yeah, Every it, day. <laughs> all the way. <laughs> so, nah. I worked at Foot Locker? No, no I, I, I do. I worked I at a shoe store, though. Yeah, yeah, shoe store is like six fifty. though. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, rest my shit. cousin was the manager, so I, I got seven twenty five. I used to work at Foot Locker. Father, nigga, I, I worked at Jarman's for three weekends. Long, this nigga worked for sandals. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you look like you had to wear the Bruh, sandals. Bruh, it was That's a shell. That's why that motherfucker went upstairs with Jason Weaver, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it, was, it was linen suits. Your souls ain't right. Shell man. necklaces. <laughs> if you seen his outfit. Leather, <laughs> leather <laughs> bracelets. Nigga dressed yeah. like tech from uh, nigga Durango <laughs> boot. Storm, real world. Now. Right. But y'all you, tripping? You know, like, Durango. I, yeah, Durango. Durango. I went to my father's grave site for the first time at 21. I had never been before because we he, never talked about. You when he, when he got I was two when he died, okay. oh, wow. so uh, he, uh, you know, I went to the way, the grave site, and he was buried at like the old, say, died in '89. So I was, mm -hmm. you know, what I mean, on the back side of the grave yeah. site where they don't even use no more. And the lady walked me over there, and it was just a, some grass, and she was like, you know, he, he in this area somewhere. somewhere. Mm. Wow. And I'm just the type of nigga I am because, like I said, that's another moment. I had these, you know, just moments of clarity about that make me appreciate my background. If I wasn't given the type of shit that I was given growing up up until that point, that would have broke me the fuck down. Like, that would have crushed me. Like, damn, cuz, whoever he was before he died, he ain't gone enough to get a headstone, and nobody around him had enough to get him one. Right. Or loved him enough to get him one. Right, or, or, yeah. or could, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. But because I was given the shit the way I was given, swear to God, my first thought was like, damn, I hope I put the flowers on the right motherfucker. <laughs> 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 naturally you know Real what i mean but when i went home nah. you know what i mean i was cool with it I, and i went home and they gave me a paper with his information on it right mm. and i gave my mother the paper and i didn't see my mom i saw my mama fight before i saw her cry mm. like she's not that type of person like mm. she just uh, yeah. like you ever met a chick from dc before oh, yeah. yeah like my mother like the 70s version of that like, <laughs> yes. you know what i'm saying so i gave her this paper and she lost it i'm mm. talking about just crying and i'm like what What's wrong? She was like this. The day he did not die on this day. He didn't mm. die on this day. So oh, even man. if I was confused about the type of nigga that he was by him not having the headstone, just like that, it was proven to me right. the type of nigga that this dude was. Yeah, like right. she still got so much love for this man. They gotta put respect 20, on the day. You know what I mean? Oh, 18 man. years, 19 years later, that it made her break down in tears that the date was wrong on the paper. So it's like, okay, I got a choice to make. Like I can't go out like that i can't go out a patch of grass i gotta do something mm. and that's what led me to the stage go out like a patch yeah, of grass you know what i mean like, yeah, i can't yeah. you know what i'm saying because there's a lot of niggas who patches of grass who just got caught before they realized what it was really about right and i didn't had that you know direct to consumer mentality when it comes to how that shit works so after seeing that i was just like it made me gave me a lot of understanding of why the communication was the way it was when mm -hmm. we was young because she knew that this nigga was a hell of a nigga that the world never got a chance to see so she like, I got this baby by this man. I'm not all of the fuck shit that he probably was taught or given when he was young. Not letting it slide around here, nigga. You not getting none of the, all, no bitch shit at all. No yeah, sucker mm -hmm. shit. Nothing. Because it's probably sucker shit that led to this nigga getting his head blown off. <laughs> Being slipping. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Being too open-minded about shit you're not supposed to be open-minded about. Being too lax to shit you're not supposed to be lax to. Mm -hmm. Being okay with, you know, being... <clears throat> catered to and 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 just all the things that lead to that type of outcome in life yeah. like you know it just it Not gave me a whole yet. bunch and that's all that plays back into this shit like my nigga you think i give a fuck about <laughs> you <laughs> my nigga mind. like stop playing with me i had to wear size 13 shoes to school in the seventh grade Ooh. Ooh. in the seventh no wonder grade. you went so hard mama, on whoever my mama was fucking with at the time she knew some nigga that was giving her them probably his cousin gave him the, the, you know what i mean the higher discount However, the, man, the manager at Foot Locker. You know what I mean? She uh, was getting them, and that's what I had to wear. And woo, I was hit. cool with the size 13s on. You ain't going to find a nigga nowhere that'll tell you they went to school with Bean, and Bean wasn't always cool. Come on, so man. when I think back to that, I'm like, nigga, if I can be walking around in the 90s with size 13s when I really wore eight and a half in, in middle school in the District of Columbia Boy. and still be cool, I can make anything go. You was walking slow as hell. I can make anything go, bro. That's just the way my, that's where it comes from. It don't come from nothing that was, I picked up from social media uh, uh, gratification or a 
I got famous and everybody loved me or I became this. Man, that shit came from me having them big ass shoes on <laughs> in McFarland Middle School. And I'm, I'm talking about this bitch was like East Side High, nigga. Big oh, DC mean? public schools were notorious, nigga. We, yeah. was, we was in the streets then. Mm -hmm. So for me to be able to make that happen, <laughs> I was like, nigga, Yo, you, you can't talk about that shit. on stage? You talk about you wearing 13s on stage? Mm. Uh, <laughs> if please. you go back to the picture of you with them mascot please. shoes. Oh, that's, that's I got them. full circle shit oh, ever nigga, right cut, there. Listen, that's I so got them. The, the big ass shoes. And the first date, I just, well, that's why I don't. 13 That's why crazy. I don't. Like when people say shit. Tell your like, mic, Chico. Oh my bad. No, you I, didn't I wore a ten and a half and wore my daddy thirteens in school and had to roast my way out of that motherfucker. What's up, nigga? See, like, yes, but sir. I was roasted. I was I was still with the shit, but them shit were big. Yeah, <laughs> I wore a ten and a half. But that just you know that's why I'm not affected by people's comments. Like, cause I was able to you know like you said roast my way out of that, and then that just gave me it built me a type of and I come from a neighborhood where that's all niggas did. Like, fuck your pain, nigga. You outside, <laughs> we on you, nigga. We on you. We on you, My nigga. Was That's why your dog died, was... bitch ass nigga. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no remorse. Cause that's just what the what the climate was, and it was like, nigga, you oh. mad? Do something, there, bitch ass nigga. You ain't gonna do shit. That's the name so, of the episode. That's why your dog died, died bitch, bitch ass, ass nigga. You's a bitch, like nigga. That's wow. just how we we yeah. communicated <laughs> when it came to. And then if you that's had a problem word. with that, then you had to you had to put down a demonstration to show like it ain't gonna. I ain't, it ain't going like that. So that's just the way that I was raised up. So now a lot of the shit that affect people don't affect me the same like my nigga they, nah I had grown men cooking me nigga to where I know I can't beat this nigga mm -hmm. and you I got just got to I got to figure out how to say something back you, you know what I mean your word. I, my uncle my uncle Irk man salute to my uncle Irk like we all lived in a house together in my Aunt Murray house the uh, person I went on my chain mm -hmm. like we all she was like my grandmother my grandmother passed before I was born so she was like played that role yeah. right? and we all lived in the same house in, in DC you know a big house and like with me having all that influence in in the house, I got to get all the good and the bad from all these different people. Yeah. Right. So I remember my uncle Eric came home one day and I was uh, sitting downstairs on a Nintendo, right? Mm -hmm. And that nigga was like, Wanda, Wanda. She said, what? He said, hey man, you gonna have to start hanging this little nigga upside down so he can grow right there. head big as a moth. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't say nothing. I'm just looking like I look at this nigga like, bro, what the fuck I do to you, my nigga? God damn it, bro. So, so I, oh, I, I, I dog, that nigga just playing contra, story. like, god damn. True story. True down. story. He said, man, you have to start hanging this little nigga upside <laughs> down so he can right. grow right. This nigga head right. big as a motherfucker. <laughs> and I started <laughs> crying, right? Because that shit, because everybody's That's laughing. Good. That's a good one. Everybody Nobody was like, leave that boy alone. Right. Everybody like, oh, I got that little nigga. <laughs> and, I, and, and then my uncle was like, fuck you crying for, nigga. Something wrong with me, too. Figure out what it is. Mm. All that crying shit, boy. Big head ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Figure out what it is. Wrong and with now, me, now as a grown man, as a father, I'm able to utilize all of that shit to where it might have been harsh to a child, but I'm able to take that and apply it in a way to where my daughter's able to get it without the aggression of it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. She able to pick up on that shit, cause that's valuable shit. Yeah, because yeah. that taught me at that time, nigga, don't nobody care about you being sad. That's right. gonna make me get your ass some more. Right. Like nigga, <laughs> ooh, you crying? Yeah. Oh nigga, I bet your tears stink, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it don't stop. It don't stop. <laughs> it don't stop. It don't stop. Niggas don't. I come from. Uh, I come from. So I man. come from. New, new podcast, nigga. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like that. We, we, I come from. We're going to change the name of our show today. Right. <laughs> that's, 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 no, no, no holes barred. Like, that's yeah. the household I come from and the environment I come from. Don't drop the blunt, nigga. Yeah, I done hit the mic. But, uh, oh, God. you know, that, and that taught me that, you know, life, it, it, it really is, is, it ain't no remorse for you. Mm -mm. You got to figure out how to be cool with you. Because right. you're going to run into somebody who just ain't going to like what you got going on. Mm -hmm. It's inevitable. So if you got a couple, jobs to not like what you got. Going right. On. Exactly. It's motherfuckers who pride themselves to yes. like whatever you like. Yes. So <laughs> if you ain't got the, the ability to be able to navigate through that, it can get rough for you out here. It's gonna get and rough. I got that in the household. Like it's so many stories like my aunt Murray. Like this is the reason why I don't eat too much shit. I'm a pig. I'm, I go to Ruth Chris and get chicken strips. Nigga, I'm one of them niggas <laughs> because I was five years old, why? four or five years old. And, uh, my Aunt Murray came home with some with some groceries, and I was just excited to see my Aunt Murray. I love my Aunt Murray. Like, oh, Aunt Murray home. 
and she pulled some bananas out, and I had to, you know, I didn't know what they was for real. I knew what they was, but I never had one. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, hey, I'm, I want to, I want one of them. She was like, you sure you don't want to taste it, and see if you like it first. I'm like, mm, I want the whole thing. Pause. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I tasted this shit and it was the nastiest shit I'd ever tasted in my five years of living, nigga. Mm. And I was like, I don't want this out, Mary. She was like, I don't give a fuck what you want. You're going to eat it. Gonna yeah, nigga, I sat there from 11, mm. I remember the time, 11.34 till MASH came on, nigga. Ooh, Ooh. that's night night. Nigga, that's, that's like, like 11 p.m. MASH yeah, came on, nigga, when she let me go to sleep. And the whole thing, mind you, I told you I lived in a house with all my family. Nobody showed me support. <laughs> Nobody was like, I'm like, y'all don't really don't fuck with me in here. Like, nigga, my mother, I'm thinking my mother, she at work, so I know when my mama come home. Ain't none of my uncles, her or Cheryl, none of them niggas show. I know when my mama come home, she gonna pull me out the fire. Yo, your family got all the black names. Mary, Harold, <laughs> Cheryl. Yeah, yeah. Wanda. 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 Reggie. Yo, y'all got all the black names. Reggie, Ert, Ricky, literally. That's, that's the name of the show, all the black names. All the, for real. So... My mother come home from work, right? And I'm like, oh, I'm thinking, I see her coming up the steps. I'm like, yes, I'm about to be able to throw this banana in the tray. Right. <laughs> and I say, hey, mommy. She was like, hey, baby. And my Aunt Murray was like, got him. She was like, ha, and walked upstairs. She knew what time she it was. She didn't even tell her what it was. And I'm just like, ah, fuck She knew what time it was. But yeah, yeah. it taught me a lesson. She was like, don't ask for shit you don't want. Mm. Don't be out here asking for shit. Fuck wrong with you, wow. nigga can give you anything. Good lesson. Take your ass to sleep, and then from this day <laughs> forward, nigga, I don't give a fuck what it is. I fight you before I eat a banana. Swear to God, I don't give a true story right that now. Nigga, anything banana is. That's why he said I don't eat a lot of stuff now. Yeah, no, nah, I know disrespect. I mean, people tell me all the time, like, hey man, this is some vegan whatever, or this is whatever. God bless you. I know you nice. I don't want none of that nice. shit. I don't want none of that shit, my nigga. Yo, my grandma made this banana pudding, food, you know right. what I mean? I can't fuck with it. And it's like, I had like them, 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 them moments where it's like moments of clarity. The other, my birth, daughter's birthday was uh, last week. And uh, I went to uh, dinner with her mother and her little brother. Her mother got a, a son by somebody else. Mm-hmm. So we, uh, we all at dinner. And my daughter just, you know, she a finesse, so she know how to get shit over, right? <laughs> so they bought the little cake the little cake tray out with the, you know, birthday shit on the real mm-hmm. fruit. And you know, this Ruth Chris, they picked that shit today. Right? right. You know what I mean? So her little <laughs> brother, you know, we the last people in the restaurant and they, you know, they cool or whatever. So I'm like, let you restless, let them run around a little bit, at least in our area. So he get around to my daughter. She's like, hey, you want a strawberry? Mm-mm. She's like, you want a raspberry? Like, Mm-mm. She was like, you want a Sonic Super Speed Blackberry? That nigga says super speed. Nah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I want she one of them. <laughs> Man, she put this shit, this nigga about this nigga took the meanest bite. Her. Took off around the table. Super speed one time. <laughs> super speed another time. Nigga, when that taste set in on cuz, stop super speed right in his tracks, bro. That nigga said, her. Nigga got to sound like DMX. You like, oh. Oh, I gotta spit it out. You gotta spit it out. I gotta spit it out. I gotta spit it out. I gotta spit it out. Now get out of here. You gonna lose the speed? I gotta spit it out. And his <laughs> and his mom was like, "Go ahead, spit it out, baby." And that was a moment of clarity for me because I'm like, my people, nigga, I'd have had to have that shit in my mouth like some chewing tobacco for the rest, the rest of, the of the night. Oh, you swallowing it? <laughs> you, I don't give a fuck what you need to do, nigga. You gonna eat that goddamn black bread before it you out. get in the car? So it's like those moments be like wow. moments like, man, that's. You know, he, I'm talking about DMX intro. <laughs> uh, I gotta spit it out. I, I gotta spit it out. And I know, and it's to be there for him with that moment. You know what I'm saying? I know that like that's that's the banana moment for me. Like that nigga, you'll never circle. get that nigga eat another black bear for the no. rest of his life. He gonna fight you about yeah, black about, for real. <laughs> super so, speed black bear. You know what I mean? And, and super <laughs> she, that nigga says super, super speed. speed. That's all. And, this and, backs my theory that uh, you didn't have allergies in the '80s. There was no such thing as fucking hell no nah. food allergies. In shit, the 80s. nobody had food allergies. Oh, he I got did. Them. You so, allergic to nuts. That nigga almost oh, died. Nigga almost wild died, nigga. What you mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I ain't even talking about the wild and out. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we we yeah. tell that one. But, uh, <laughs> you had to get it. That that's time how around. that's how they found out I was allergic to nuts. My cousin Shell had made me like some peanut butter and jelly in the cup, mm. and you know what I mean she was uh you know back then they was they was on drugs real bad. Mm. So she had made me this peanut butter and jelly and went upstairs and did her thing and you know went oh, out yeah. and came back downstairs. She said they said I was swole up just. Swole up, slumped over in the hot chair. Damn. And so, you know what I mean? And mind you, 
You know what I mean? I was still breathing and all that, mm -hmm. but my mama had to take me to the hospital on the bus, on the metro bus. Ain't nobody had no cars in our family mm. back then. So she on the bus with this swole up ass baby cussing people out, she said, because right. they think I didn't beat my baby up or did something to my baby. Oh, so that's how they found out I was allergic to nuts. And I'm still hotly allergic to the shit. Damn. Like, most people grow out of how bad it is. Okay. I didn't. Like, my shit still fucked up. So we had wilding out, right? <laughs> and, uh, you know, they got like the, the crafty table. Of course. You know what I mean? So. We and this is a three show day, you know what I mean? So we can ready to shoot the third show. Mm -hmm. I walk past, I see some pretzels on the table. I just like, I ain't ate shit, let me pop one of these pretzels. And I bit down on the pretzel and just, it was so one of them little small poppable pretzels. Mm -hmm. And then I, you know, just ingested some of the shit. And I, it felt like I swallowed some nails, nigga. So I knew immediately what it was. Oh. And this is the first time I done ingested some peanut butter since probably since that first time. Mm -hmm. I done came in contact with it, but nigga, it's like, if I take a bite out of something that got nuts in it, I spit it out, I gotta go to the hospital. Immediately, it's that wow. bad. So when I swallowed even this without shit, swallowing it. even without swallowing it. So I, when I, I knew what time it was, but I didn't want to panic because I knew what that would have caused. Mm. Oh, oh my God, oh, you know what I mean? She goes to dying, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I just, you know, was planning cool. They gave me two heavy pins. Two, my two. Bro? shit. And I went outside and I'm playing the coochie. Like, I think you need to go to the emergency yeah. room. In my mind, I'm like, oh, I'm going to the emergency room. <laughs> going to the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> and I do not want these. These are my friends, nigga. I told you the type of niggas. I like, motherfuckers ain't going to come to my funeral with no sad stories. This right. nigga died from nuts. <laughs> See why I don't like niggas. Like, I'm telling you, it's just the jokes would be abundant. So I, we go to uh, uh, Grady and uh, salute to the doctor at Grady. But Grady wow. as a unit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Shut your ass. I didn't know. Who made that decision? I, the, nigga, that was people the, the closest people from out of town. Oh, yeah. It yeah, was the closest we went one. to Grady, and I just, you know, I'm thinking like oh, that's some man. good shit because all the niggas rap about being born there. <laughs> yeah, so Grady, I'm, thinking like, I'm thinking like this. Oh, nigga, I'm going to right. the Atlanta. This gonna be the last. This, this is the super hospital. They say Grady Lawyer. baby. That's a trauma <laughs> unit. Nigga, yeah, you for real. Go, I got go. over that motherfucker. Nigga, they didn't give a fuck, dog. They sat me in a room. I'm like, mind you, I'm telling them, like, hey, this shit bad. My head's gonna get bigger. You walked in with them sandals you were selling at the uh, German. <laughs> well, yes, sir. <laughs> Probably still got uh, it. Uh, commission. Gave me a pill and was like, yeah, just sit here. Sit here. <laughs> he gave you a pill? A sure. pill and told me to sit here. In the waiting room. That right. sounds like, right. That sound then, about right. I'm like, hey, they man. They serving niggas pills in the waiting Right. Room. That nigga gave me a pill and said, wait here. That's a hold and up mind pill. mind you, right? Hold the on Motherfuckers pill. is walking past. Still got the wildin' out shit on. Yeah. So motherfuckers is walking past. Hey, man, Chico, man, I know you fucked up. I get a picture. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm this taking pictures talk. from niggas and they're having a the No way. Oh, no God. way, Chico. Oh, you take God. It? Boy, you a good nigga. In Grady Hospital. Yeah, I'm in the hospital. Motherfuckers like, bro. In the heart of Atlanta. I'm talking about niggas like, hey, bud, I don't know what you in here for, but I fuck with you. <laughs> I fuck with you, boy. Hey, I fuck with you, bro. I gotta get this pick real quick, my nigga. Ah, nigga got I'm a like, gown yeah, on. I'm like, I, nah, I ain't had no gown on. Yeah, 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 nigga, all the way. So, <laughs> yeah, damn, exactly. Man, bitch, I'm like, that shit crazy. Oh God, we like Chico. They say rap, do the old, do the old school. Brother Dolly. So my homegirl Dolly get there. She get there. Shout out to Dolly. Shout out Dolly. As soon as she get there. I get the early real bad, oh, man. and when I get the throwing up, that's that's when it kicked in because I knew what was coming. This, yeah. The anaphylactic shock is coming. The, the only thing that made it slow down to where I was able to get to the hospital like that was them two epipens. Yeah. Yeah. So once it kicked off, nigga, my shit just swole up, Ooh. shit swole up, mm -hmm. got tight, and then the black doctor who ended up coming to the uh, the show the next day. He came in and was like, hey, man, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? You got to treat this nigga like he got a gunshot wound to the chest. This nigga in here dying like I tripping. <laughs> that's, that's their and levels that, in boom. there. Boom. That's, that's what, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Oh, you should have said something. Oh, said oh, said trauma. Gunshot wound. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, the only, that's the only thing you go to Grady for well, is gunshot. that you get trauma. shot or stabbed. Trauma. It's Anything trauma else. <laughs> This and like he said, treat it like he got shot. Oh, and then everybody woke up and it's like, oh shit! Me, you know, <laughs> it's like you can, tube, 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 you can die from something they, else you know, other than the stick, gunshot. Stick the tube down my shit, and you know, and Start all pumping that you out. breathe and all that gave me two more epipens. Bro, you got four Ooh, epipens got in four one day. Bro, you Spider Man now, bro. That sounds like too much. It's bad, bro, because it's like I'm in a still in the top percentile of how fucked up it is. Yeah, when the nigga I can't even touch water got nuts in it. Like. 
don't give a fuck, bro. It's that bad. So you can't even touch peanuts. I mean, I can touch them, but I'm, I mean, I'm going to have to, you know, like, my shit going to get the book. That's up. crazy. Like, it's bad. No, so, yeah. And then it's crazy because I stayed in the hospital. They gave me the shit. I came back out of the hospital, came the next day and shot three more shows. Yes, sir. And the doctor that uh that, that fucked with me, he came and watched the show. And I just gave him a shout out, like, appreciate you, bro, because it could have been yeah. bad. You know Real what I mean? Bad. Yeah. Yeah. People That's don't what I'm know. Saying. You. My outlook be different, bro. I can die like most shit that'll kill you is real specific. Like a gun, a nigga with a gun, a knife. Or crazy a motherfucker. They selling the shit that'll kill me at every gas station. You Everywhere you go, bro. Everywhere I go, it's death yeah, in the building. So Damn. Right my perspective the on Damn. life. You ain't never had a Reese's cup. Nah, nigga. That's a, I hate that shit. Like, <laughs> niggas been saying that shit to me my whole life. <laughs> Damn, bro. I see. I, it just hit. And then they go through all the shit. Like, Damn, Damn. My nigga, you ain't never had a Snickers. A Snickers, bro. Oh. You ain't never had a Reese. You ain't never had a peanut butter and jelly, my nigga. Uh, God. Damn, man. My son got a no. dairy allergy, bro. He ain't gonna never have none of that. I be looking. That nigga ain't gonna never had no ice cream sandwich for real, bro. Mm. Hey, but they I got vegan so all that shit. Yeah, bro. now they got vegan. There yeah. ain't no yeah. vegan yeah. peanut butter. That's what I'm saying. No. How do you think? <laughs> how can you raise kids? With the Chico Bean mentality now that everything is so sensitive and so PC. That's a good question. You know he stole, I was going to ask that. That's a good question. question. And I got it right, too, because I got to show uh, I'm still uh, sorry, bro. You know what's crazy? Like, we'll I think about that all the time, you know what I'm saying, in regards to, to, you know, raising my baby. But the thing for me is I'm not against her leading the way on the shit that she's supposed to lead the way on. Mm. Got it. I'm not letting the fact that I'm a parent mean that I'm supposed, like I said, I come from a dictatorship, so I know the, the pros and cons of a dictatorship. So I'm able to utilize the pros and negate the cons. Come on. So when it comes to like social media and all of that shit, like I'm in tune with whatever she in tune with and I let her show me mm. what she think is cool and then I take the time to learn it from a parent's perspective to where I can get in and see what's going on mm -hmm. and be able to see what's happening to make sure that she's not, you know, exposed to shit that she don't understand. Cause you can't stop yeah, it, you can't but you stop. just, I just don't want her to catch something that she ain't caught from heard from me or learn from me first in that space to which right. she's not able to immediately shape yeah. her opinion around what it is. All and right. another thing that I do is I'm not naive to the fact that even though things are so PC right now, man, these kids ain't got shit on us. Oh, like man. my they nigga, they don't got shit on us, my yeah. nigga. We had a uh, whole dude kidnapping children here in Atlanta. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I seen that shit on HBO. Oh, yeah. But shit. I, I, when I was my daughter's age, nigga, eleven. I'm already thinking I'm a man because I got to go to the grocery store and shit. Yeah. Like, nigga, yeah. I'm, I'm all Wrong. the way in. Right like, nigga, I'm talking yeah. about, and I, I never rode a school bus. I always rode the metro, the city bus, and I didn't seen everything at that age in my mind. So the type of person that my child is now, she's nowhere near engulfed in the world right. as I right. was at her age. Mm -hmm. So that means I got a mean head start on the world yeah. so mm -hmm. I can feed it to her to where she's able to understand shit. So when it comes in contact with her, she's like, you know what? My daddy. That's dope. Yeah. My daddy, me and my daddy talk about this shit. Like, Real like shit. on her birthday, you know, I've been doing trips with her for the past five years. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Like That's her and her home, her friends. That's we hard. all going. Right. Because hard. that shit is important to me. Like I want her friends to be able to see, you know, her lifestyle and be able to get the influence of me as a man being her father and then being her friend. Mm -hmm. That connection is lost a lot of times, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I want that to be the case. But this year, you know, shit fucked up. So we had a birthday party in the house mm -hmm. with just us. And I was kind of nervous, like, damn, I hope she don't feel like, you know, you know, lesser like, than or like I didn't lost yeah. out on something. But it really made me realize, man, it ain't about none of that. She just happy to be with her daddy. That's and we had just as much fun. I put the shit on Instagram and showed just how, you know, on the story, just showed just how we interact with one another. Like, I don't talk to her like she's a child. I talk to her like she's my partner. Now, mind you, she, I don't treat her like she's my friend. But the way I communicate, I'm not communicating with her as a dictator. Because, like I said, I know that that's not really the way that you do things now. Yeah. And I understand that when it comes to communicating with a little girl, it's a lot more delicate than it is with a little boy. You can just, little, you can just outside the shit out of a little boy. 
Like, nigga, get the fuck on. Boy, go fall somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't do that now when they're allergic to all the shit outside. Oh, yeah. Well, grass. That's true. But they make them allergic to grass It now. make it, a, it, you know, <laughs> certain aspects of shit ain't changed. Like, you know what I mean? If you got a little boy, you got to worry about your little boy going out here and doing, you know, oh, whatever, yeah. whatever. But you got to worry about your little girl getting fucked. Like, oh, that's going to happen. Yeah. And I accepted that when I had a daughter. I was like, okay, one day somebody is going to fuck my baby. What my job is is to make sure that whenever she jump in the game for real, she raw. I'm talking about raw with the shit that a motherfucker not gonna be able to trick her out of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause like you could trick okay. bitches out their pussy. Oh, yeah. They gonna give it to you, but you can trick, trick them into doing that, yeah. it. Now I, she, yeah. I ain't gonna be able to stop her from going through heartache, pain, and that's, that's part of life. But if I can stop her from fucking with tricky niggas as early as possible, Fact. or Spot tricky em. people yeah. as right. early as possible, that's my job. Right. That's my yeah. job is to make sure that I communicate with her the way she know. Like she can question me about anything. Mm -hmm. I, we don't have a type of relationship. She can ask me anything she wanna ask me. I don't care what it is. And if I tell her to do something, she can ask me why. Mm -hmm. Because I need you to understand why I'm not. I don't mind telling you why yeah. I'm telling you to do this shit. Mm -hmm. That's something I wish I had back then. Real you know shit. what I'm saying? I wish I would have been able to know why. why but sometimes yeah. with our people, wasn't no reason why. Hell no. Just cause, cause I said so. nigga. Right. Yeah. And if that's the case, I, I tell her so. that. Like, I called her from the basement one day. I'm like, hey, baby, uh, put another trash bag in the trash can. She was like, daddy, I, I asked you before I went upstairs that there was anything that I was supposed to do, and you said no. I was like, well, I'm, I forgot. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Do it. You know what I mean? So it, mm -hmm. we have those moments to where she understands that I'm in charge. She knows who her father is, but mm -hmm. at the same time, I don't want her to be afraid to ask no man no questions. Right. right. That's where sure. a lot of women get in trouble that they get out here and they ain't never been able to ask their father shit and they just taking a man's word as what it is that's because what that's what they watch. Nah, yeah. I ain't about to be able to just finesse you out nothing. Look, if daddy tell you to do something and you wanna know why, I'ma tell you why. Because right. when you get out here in the world, I don't want you to be naive to question it. You know right. what I'm saying? You out, nigga? Yeah, man, I gotta do this Zoom. Uh, oh, you gotta do a Zoom show. You about to go talk to your computer, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Salute to you. We was gonna, gonna wrap it up anyway, man. Be safe, brother. Thanks, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Safety, I, I got brother. You, Safety. You know, <laughs> I, I got you. Salute to the OG Ronnie. You know. You got what? everything out. Yes, All right. Oh yeah, nigga, show him. They yours. Self love. Legs, 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 shoes. Shoes. <laughs> Straight down. Shit, all, all of that plays into who I am. Like I said, man, I've been a, I've been a man in my mind for a long time. I ain't become a man till I became a man, but mm -hmm. in my mind, I've been a man for a long time. I've been working since I was nine years old, making my own money, and I've been making my own money for real after the size thirteen school year. Come on. After that, <laughs> had to get my, it. I can say my mama has not <laughs> provided for me in the way that most niggas get provided for mm -hmm. since I was. 13 years old. Yeah. Wow. So it's like, I don't have the same mentality. Yeah. That's why a lot of niggas get into this game that we in, this entertainment game, and get jaded quick. Right. Because mm -hmm. you looking at what another nigga got Come going on, on and, it, and wanting that. I ain't never had that. I never had that ability because nothing was given to me to mm -hmm. where I was able to compare it to what was given to you. Yeah. I've been able to, I had to go get my shit. Mm -hmm. So I know when I see a nigga, whatever you got, that's yours. You went got to get that. that. And ain't nothing you got, I want. Mm -hmm. I can be motivated by you. I can be inspired by you. But whatever's yours is yours. Whatever's mine is me for I me to go, go get. get it. And that's mm -hmm. all I want is what's yeah. mine. I don't give right. a fuck what nobody else is. I ain't trying to get no more or no less than what belong to me. Because I done been having to do that for so long, it give you a different mentality about a lot of the shit that <laughs> niggas get caught up with. Like, you know, I see a lot of my partners, I done had them conversations. Niggas be like, you know, I'm... I'm down and man, I'm looking at another nigga like this nigga ain't funny as me or this nigga ain't this is me. Why I ain't got this going on? It's like, bro, that come from a level of you being a, a, a dependent. You been a dependent. You got to get out that dependent mind state, my nigga. Why are you worried about what another nigga got? What you want him to give it to you? Yeah, man. You, you want him to give it to you? Want to go man. up and like like what you want to go the way he got going on and then make them get rid of him and put you in that <laughs> right? Right. That's what's gonna happen. Like what what is you you, you sound? That's yeah. not the way to go about it, it my nigga. Stop right. being it that don't have a dependent mentality. And because I've never had to have the ability of you know being able to you know dependency, I, I've always had a mentality of I know it's my responsibility to make shit happen. Mm -hmm. And when you get that mentality in this game, it saves you because. You know, this comedy shit, 
It's rough. It's rough. Mm-hmm. Like, niggas don't fuck with each other. It's a this lonely shit, sport. Boy. Yeah, <laughs> like, and that's why I think the 85 South <laughs> shit blew up the way it did, because we, you can see we genuinely fuck with each yeah, other. Nice and and it's like, for all of the niggas that have came before us, it's like, how did nobody else ever think to do this shit? <laughs> Like, nobody couldn't. ever, they couldn't because everybody was trying to be the man. Mm-hmm. And it's like, fuck you if you the man, because I'm supposed to be the man. Mm-hmm. Nah, nigga, it don't work like it that. It's enough like light that. out here for everybody. But you got to know who you are and right. be content with who you are to be able to build with some other motherfuckers. So it's like, we get, we at a point now where people see us and be like, man, how the fuck do you, you know, y'all be doing that shit. It's like, man, it's natural. It's magic, my nigga. But the thing yeah, is, sure. we allowed the magic to develop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Most niggas don't get past I'll the point. The you can in. have the magic with your niggas, but mostly you get to the point where you start one with everybody else want. Mm-hmm. I don't want your bitch. I don't want your money. I don't want your house. I don't want your life. I don't want nothing. I want what's mine. Yeah. And if I can get what's mine, why you get what's yours? Nigga, we got it going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's we can make some shit happen. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah. I mean? And it's like... I done mm. ducked a lot of the, the stressful shit in the comedy game. Like that a lot of niggas, I hear a lot of them stories about y'all down here in that Atlanta circuit and you know, <laughs> those my brother. So, yeah, man. you know, and Fly too, but Fly ducked it too, like in regards to it's when later he came on. in the game. Mm-hmm. But I came in at, in North Carolina where it wasn't necessarily a hotbed of comedy. So right. we were kind of creating the culture. Yeah, that's what that was. The, y'all were like the kind of the first family. Yeah, like, of, of that area. Like that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So yeah. we were creating the culture. Down here, the culture existed already. It's yeah. already strong. Mm-hmm. So I get them stories about how niggas was doing each other and nigga called about booking Tyler on the show. Oh, I ain't got his number, but I can do I it for do you it for him. Come on. Like all that shit. And, and I've been <laughs> blessed in the game. I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I'm very thankful for how I've been blessed in the game because I've been able to avoid a lot of that shit. And in the times I came into those contact with those type of elements, I'd have been blessed with OGs that yeah. was that stepped in. I tell you, a dope story. I just had him on the show, Corey Holcomb. That's yes, my sir. big. I oh, love that God nigga. Like when I first got to Wildin' Out, that was my, you know, that was my muse. Like right. I got to make this That's nigga laugh. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Everybody, he was the one that was there. It was like him, D Ray. Like really, him and D Ray was the two niggas that mm-hmm. I was like, man, I yeah. got to. I got to I go at these niggas. I got to make them be niggas. like that niggas funny. That, I got yeah. to make them respect it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like to make them know that it's this real. I come from the trenches. Like mm-hmm. I come from standing flat foot with that microphone, my nigga. You're I'm right. not what you may think this shit is turning into. So, <laughs> yeah, you did. The way you worded that was, it was yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I exactly. know exactly what you mean. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like the first day I, we, when we did that little workshop and the wild style, I went at him. Yeah. And he kept pulling me to the side and was like, hey, nigga. <laughs> So I'm going to tell you some shit, nigga. He said, hey, man, you got it. I can feel it. I know what it is. Mm-hmm. But, nigga, figure out what you're going to do in this shit mm-hmm. and do that shit. Or else you're going to be one of them niggas that they see <laughs> on the intro clapping and they ain't going to never <laughs> see your ass again. <laughs> they never see your ass again. <laughs> Hey, but forget you introducing. You just do a watch party and everything. <laughs> Boy, that's and the realest shit, shit ever. Got cut. Boy. So that Damn, was that's, that's the mentality that I went into <laughs> wilding out with. Yeah. And that's the reason why you see me be the person that I am because that mm-hmm. nigga gave me that the first day of us being in that environment. So, quick story. No, we gotta wrap it up. But I was in LA, right? Mm-hmm. I was doing like a little showcase. This was like back before Wildin' Out, like the year before we got on Wildin' Out. Yeah. And, uh, you know, salute to my partners out there, to my, my real partners, James, Sydney, right. Sydney, you know what I'm saying? All cousins. my niggas, I don't yeah. want to get the name of everybody, yeah. but so we, me and Sydney and James, and uh, we had been together all day. Like we had been right, cause I was staying with James when I was out there. Right. So, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? We had been together all day. We've been joining on each other all day, just talking shit. So after the showcase, we out in one of those comedy circles that happened after the show yeah. and shit. Mm-hmm. So I ain't going to say who the nigga was. I tell y'all off camera, but I ain't going to say who the nigga was. But this nigga who's well-known, a well-known comedian, he's standing out there in the circle. And Corey ended up walking up. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And that's what I mean when I say I've been blessed to, to have OGs that stepped in into that bullshit that come with this mm-hmm. game. So I had a leather Dallas Cowboy cat on, cap on. You know what I mean? And Sydney had been joning on the cap all day. Right. Mm-hmm. So he hit me with a joke. Mind you, we done been cooking each other all, all day. day. Already so high. he slipped one, you know, slipped me a joke while we standing out there. And I'm just like, nigga, fuck out of here. Right. But I had just killed at the uh at the at the showcase. Mm-hmm. So we standing out there and this nigga was like, a word? I thought you was a comedian, nigga. Ain't no way I ever let no other comic t- say nothing about me and I don't say nothing back. And my natural reaction was like, What? <laughs> yeah. Now 
him not knowing who I was, he don't know me to know, like, I, right, because I was at the point where I'm looking at him like, all right, nigga, I'm yeah. going to make you want to fight me out here. I'm afraid of ass up. I guarantee you, nigga, ain't nobody ever said the shit I'm about to say about you. Right. I promise you. Yeah. But as I'm looking, I'm confused, though, because this is a person with a name. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, like, it kind of fucked with me a little bit, like, Damn, like this nigga talking to me, I ain't used to that. Like, and that's one thing I can't deal with. You ain't gonna talk to me no type of way. I right. have problems with that. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, what? He was like, nigga, if you a comic, especially if you expect to make it, you better not ever, nigga, ain't no way. What type of nigga is you to let a nigga just, you know, crack a joke on you and you don't say nothing? And mind you, niggas is like standing around and sitting, he's kind of taking a back by it too. Right. Man. And all of us. And then Corey stepped in and was like, nigga, I ain't backing down. That's why your sister died, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and then the nigga shut up and didn't say nothing else to me. But you know what that told me in that moment? It told me the game and it gave me, and mind you, I've always been able to pick up on lessons mm -hmm. quickly. Right. So that in that moment, that moment of clarity in there, it told me the game. First of all, that nigga ain't no, I was nobody at that point. Mm -hmm. I was just one, another one of these niggas out here trying to make it. So he ain't had no, I ain't had no credits. That's the credit town out right. there. I ain't had no credits to make him respect who I was right. and what I had just did wasn't enough because anybody can, you know, yeah. have a, have hit, a, a hit a half court shot and sink it, but mm -hmm. can you have a good game? Mm -hmm. So in his mind, I guess that's the way he was looking at me right. like I was one of those type of guys. But Corey already having that, you know what I'm saying, mentality and seeing me, mm -hmm. and even though Wild Now hadn't came on yet, we had already built that camaraderie. Mm -hmm. So he stepped in and was like, hey, nigga, yeah. nah, that's my, and I don't even want him to have to go through what it's going to go through because I could have fucked my you know, relationships up with whoever he knew yeah. at that point by doing what I was going up. out there, <laughs> nigga. So it, 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 it say it taught me the lesson of how the game go, yeah. and also saved me the the lesson of going through it and mm -hmm. having to experience it through the experience of it. But after it was over, Corey was like, "Man, another time." He's like, "Let me tell you something, man. I'll tell you about these niggas out here." He said, "Man, you'll see all these niggas standing around in this circle, slapping hands and shaking hands and joking and laughing." He said, and "Then when this shit over." Watch how many of these niggas you see just start walking. He said, that is shit. Now, don't ever cater to none of this shit out here, nigga. Keep it real with who you is and fuck this shit. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, all right, I got that. And then whenever I run into it now, I know. You, you know what I'm saying? You know like, me in the, in the wild and out space, nigga. I'm yeah. over here. Because <laughs> I ain't trying to fuck up what y'all got going on. Mm -hmm. And I ain't mad at y'all for having it going on. But it's not what I fuck with. So I'm gonna be over here. Yeah, mm -hmm. come get me when it's time to work. You find me when you can find me. Yeah, man, that's real. That's real talk. Shout yeah, out Corey true. Hoko, yeah, man. Yeah, for real. I seen Shout him came and did. I watched it. You know, I'm a fan. I watch y'all niggas. Appreciate show. it, man. Uh, I watched the Los one. I watched the, the the Corey one, man. And I just, you know, gotta tell y'all that I'm proud of what y'all niggas is doing because, you know, we partners and we didn't we didn't came into the space where. A lot of the niggas that we thought fuck with us, we saying they ain't really fuck with us like Come that. Come on, Chico. Like niggas is niggas is <laughs> not <really> like that. <laughs> niggas, is, niggas is really a lot of motherfuckers that you had like a lot of you know mm -hmm. niggas is really showing they like like oh they, that's how you really feel because mm -hmm. a lot of motherfuckers don't believe it's gonna work. Yeah. And then when it worked, they mad because they like, I ain't catch it before it worked. Now yeah. they know I'm slipping and trying to get. You know what I mean? I ain't catch it before it worked. So you see that niggas don't really fuck with it, but for y'all to be, uh, for all of us to come from that same circle, mm -hmm. and y'all niggas to fuck with us, and have us fuck with y'all, and to know that this is some of the most talented motherfuckers that's doing it, for me to be able to be a part of it, knowing our history, where we come from, and how deep we went back in the game, man, I'm proud of y'all niggas, Thanks, man. I dog. salute y'all niggas, and, and whatever, whenever, appreciate. you know what I mean, you want me to come do whatever, nigga, I'm here, because this on. family to me too. You heard it yeah. first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, I ain't sir. here. Hey. More than culture. Yes, That's indeed. a good one right there, buddy. Chico, Ben. Yes, Is it that time? I appreciate you, man. that time, but look, man. <laughs> what you got there? Here uh -oh. we go. Uh -oh. I uh -oh. see the real time, bro. I got to give you a little bit of, if I can. Go ahead, brother. Hey, man, you you got you married? Nah. You got a girl? I mean, nah. You mean no, I, I mean, I mean, it's a mean, no, 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 it's
no. It's I mean, no. Uh, he said, I mean, no. I mean, no. Nah. That's nah. what it is. That's I, it. I like that's how you I mean, switch it around. Nah. Yeah. It's but, a, I mean, but no. But no. Don't let nobody do no shit like that to you again, my nigga. Oh, hell no, bro. <laughs> me, bro. Yes, yeah, sir. Bitch, listen, nigga. bro. Listen, bro. This she was, get a ride home and the dick she just rolled on. Nigga. Period. My nigga, nigga, she should have been gone. That what he was trying to say and turn him into a monster like that. No shit like that. Not so much like you go and get revenge on chicks, but just like you can see the bullshit coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing, man. You know what? I tell all niggas that I can tell, man. Stop lying to bitches. Tell them yeah, the truth. Tell them the truth, on, bro. You'll be real. amazed. The you truth. actually be amazed. Yeah, you they'll like be, you too much. You'll be amazed. <laughs> they'll like you more than you I, want them I'm to like about, you. I'm raw with it. Mm. I straight up. Every all my bitches know I got bitches. Mm. Every last one. Mm. So and I, I can mean, say it no. publicly. <laughs> And I love them all. And I love them all. Because if you and fuck I with me, you got to be a special motherfucker. Cause you, <laughs> Not the, real when though. you meet me is, hey, my name is, you know, whatever you know. Mm -hmm. And this is how my program runs. Period. <laughs> so if that's not some shit you can fuck with. Yo, so tell good. about the gun line, boss. It's over with. <laughs> it's over with. Y'all line up. Yeah. Like I said, I grew up different. My mother, I watched my mother get finessed my whole life. So... I'm not going to let you be finesse. This is yep. who I am. If you going to you might not get if you can't get past this, you will never know what come with this. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know what I mean? I would liken it to to you know, if you got a wall full of plugs. Everybody know the, the conventional American plug, but I'm that Egyptian shit <laughs> that it ain't no socket for. You got to go find one of them. Mm -hmm. But when you find it, you might find out that this bitch is way more efficient for your house electricity. Than what you've been using, mm -hmm. but if you can't get past the journey of what it takes to go find that shit to be able to plug it in, oh, then Boy. you'll never know what it's like. And I'm cool. You with got that. your work cut out for yeah. you on the, on this last word. Of Boy, because you and get I'm, some and juice. I'm cool with that. Yeah. I'm cool with that. But I respect you enough as a woman not to finesse you out of the yeah, out of, out of whatever They get finessed every day, right? You know what I mean? I'm good with that. But just yeah. know, it took me a long time to learn to do that to tell women the truth. It took right. me a long it didn't. Time. It didn't. It took me to go through that one relationship with my daughter, mom, and then yeah. I've always had to self evaluate my nigga like i said i've been dealing with death and all types of shit so long that i can't run away from my problems i don't know how i've never Ain't had no. that luxury mm -hmm. even when i want to it's like something will happen that'll be like nope nigga where you going yeah right back here in your face get back right. down you here. know what i mean so <laughs> it's, it's like hello darkness once I went, went, right you know what i mean one of them songs <laughs> yes sir so <laughs> when i went through that evaluation i was like man this shit dumb as fuck like why would i ever do this this mm -hmm. don't make no sense What's the, why am I going through this shit? What's the point? Like, what's the point? Like, it's not for me. I need to figure out what's for me. Now, at that point, it could have been another relationship. But once I started to progress in life, I realized, man, the relationship, at least in the conventional wisdom that they done gave us, thing. is the dumbest shit in the world to me. <laughs> yeah, they ain't No my disrespect. Thing. <laughs> <but> <laughs> I, I can't <laughs> fuck with it. <laughs> Finger I respect gun. it if you can, yeah. and I wish you the best in it. Yeah. But if you over here, this is what it is. Like it's it's you know it, like it's like full court basketball. Everybody want to play full court. That's cool. You wait your turn. You want to get out there, try it, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm over here on the side court with a tennis ball. <laughs> with a tennis. So bitch, if you, special. Listen, right, all the way special, bro. Slow. Oh, so listen, you might Handle look and crazy. be like, man, what Handle the fuck stupid. wrong with Cuz over there with right. that tennis ball? And niggas gonna be like, oh man, leave that nigga alone. <laughs> you know, but if you want to come over here, you might find out that tennis ball basketball it's is the, the funniest shit ever. Shit ever. About you <laughs> always gonna score. Yeah, exactly. You can't miss, my nigga. <laughs> and it, the, the rules is totally different over here. The rules is totally <laughs> different. Oh, oh Ain't no God. none of that. And the fouls is different. Ain't no out of bounds. Ain't no out of bounds. Ain't, Ain't no travel. Ain't no travel. It's Ain't a lot nothing. of traveling. If you, no, it depends yeah, on how, it's you know. Like, Ain't none of that. It. It's none of that occurs. But you got to be willing <laughs> to be able to not only understand that you playing a different game, but be able to look at the full court game and not feel like, Oh, I'm playing myself because this is what I really want. And right. I'm over here just for companionship. Nah, it's too obvious. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be too obvious. Every time you get the tennis ball, you'll be like, you know what? <laughs> I can't do this shit no more, which is cool. Like, since I stopped being in relationships, I ain't never stopped fucking with a bitch. They all stopped fucking with me. Mm. But the difference is not one of them would see me on the side of the road and not stop to help me. Period. And that's the that's difference. That's real. Period. You know what I mean? Because you can do whatever you want with your pussy, ma'am. I don't right. care. With your pussy, man. relationship, the fact that, you know what I'm saying, we still can be cool or, and maybe even help each other out down the road even if we're not talking. Yeah, you right. know what I mean? It's like I, I ain't tripping off your pussy. That's yours. Mm -hmm. You can do whatever you want to do with that motherfucker. As long as whatever you do don't cause me no problems, mm -hmm. we good. Mm -hmm. We straight. I ain't trying to control none of that. My ego ain't set up that way. Right. So it, it, it 
allows women to be honest with me as well. And usually the honest women are the whores, which is why I love them so much. But when you, <laughs> when you get into a space where you allow a woman to be forward with you and yeah. not sell a dream, see, that's what was, you was doing. You had your shit oh, bro. lined up with a Sharpie. With a Sharpie. And, you know, that one, you wasn't being who <laughs> you was. Here. Hell you no. Nah. You was, either she would have had to been forced to tell you, mm. nigga, you ain't my kind of nigga. Mm -hmm. Or you'd have been forced to see that she ain't my kind of bitch. bitch. Damn. Boy, it takes a minute. There it takes is. Takes a minute. And that was the last one, though. That like, was the last one. Hey, you got up out of there, man. Hell yeah. Bro. Salute, bro. Salute. Yeah, sir. Yeah, and I, I don't know if her and Tila still together no more, but we done put that right on out there, didn't we? Goddamn. Yeah, we done. It's Tila wife, nigga. That's we had to. Google that. We had to. Hey, bro. Google just, that. We, we got the same hair, mom. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Tuesday, Martin. Oh, Tuesday, do your shit, too. Tuesday got African in her face. Bro, she got them that, that grow straight. Bro, when she showed me that, I went yesterday, right? And she was like, you want the same thing you got before? I was like, man, I don't give a fuck what you do. This shit. Right, your thing. It's, nigga, this is a canvas. Fuck you mean? Do whatever you want to do. What do. <laughs> do what you do. Straight and she, back. And she said, you know what? I'm gonna try something different. She like hit my shit with the blow dryer. Mm -hmm. And she got to doing something. And I'm sitting there. She was like, she spent that chair around. I seen that braid. It was over with. I was the nigga. I just started hearing I wish in my head. I wish. I wish. I'm like, man, please continue. Come on, man. hey, hey, my hey, head, bro. Hey, hey, hey. I can't oh, wait. Man. Man. To send that as a voice note to a bitch, like, <laughs> what you doing? You wanna make listen? It's, come it's on and braid my hair, <laughs> my hair. I can't wait, bro. Like this. That was the shit. This is this is the dream come true for bro. me, my oh, nigga. Man. I am excited and happy, like, bro. I never thought I'm that this shit would happen. You, I know that's what I know. I'm Appreciate you, my nigga. Ball, brother, you think I ain't coming with the motherfucking little flips? And the, the dogs, flip. nigga, I'm getting all that shit. Uh, if you do your shit like your mothers, nigga. If you do your shit like Rico for minutes, bro. Oh, nigga. Oh, nigga. Oh, it's coming out of his hair that. dream. Listen, That's all hilarious. that, the Coolio's, whatever I can get, I'm uh, getting all that shit. I'm waiting for every month. I'm waiting for the new Chico oh, hairstyle. Yeah, you see it, nigga. Oh, yeah, nigga. I got the hot as it feels. I'm keeping these. Oh, yeah. Hey, my nigga, you might need to make a calendar, no homo. You know what I'm saying? Just a hair hairstyle, bro, for real. Oh, yeah. I got the picture, the original picture that I got that I put up that kicked it all off. Get the four, the five. Three, hanging bro, over my bro. bed. <laughs> that shit is painted hanging over my bed. I love this process. I love it because it's hanging it's a reflective, it's bed. reflective, man. It's, and it's if you're gonna look at me and gain anything uh, from me, man. realize, man, hey man, figure out how you feel about you and start to embrace that. Yeah, and start worrying about what others say. Because others shit. gonna say something either way. When I was bald, my head was big as a motherfucker, big bald head. Peanut head ass nigga. And all the big motherfucking <laughs> chrome dome. Like a rock. All that shit. Like a rock. It's all hilarious. That, all that. So, e it e all. You, you nigga gonna say something either or. But as long as you cool with what you see, right. none of that shit matter. No matter. Don't matter. My nigga. Boy. It's on you, bro, dog. Yeah, man. Oh, shit. There's so many jewels in this episode. That takes me well, we like to end the show with a segment. We call Secret Genius Life Coach. We'll give the people some words of wisdom. Okay. Get through the week. Get to the next episode. I am Kamal, the Secret Genius. And the words of the week are this. Uh, I, don't need, I don't need my phone. Um, the fast lane ain't the fastest in traffic. You're going to have to see the whole road and make a decision when it's time to change lanes and do something different. Mm -hmm. Because uh, that fast lane get thick. Everybody see it moving fast and they want to get in it. They want to do what those cars are doing. And then it slows down. So you got to make a decision before that happens, man. Before that fast lane slows up and that traffic gets thick, you got to change lanes. You might have to get off go another way it's the fast lane is never the fastest in traffic man mm -hmm. that's all i got come on man hell yeah, yeah. 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 in traffic it's a like, lot God of traffic damn, in atlanta man. this Good motherfucker done turned into seattle when did it start raining like this out of nowhere oh, Boy, man. all that pollution what? going up in the sky you gotta come down God damn they put yeah that pollution that's uh, the vaccine. rain crazy <laughs> <laughs> no these chem trails planes yeah they put the chem shit in. you got caught in rain and you straight yeah. Oh, yeah. Appreciate you, man. Oh, appreciate it's... you, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Bro. Love anytime. Yeah, man. Yo, bad man. What's up? Hey, there you go. Bad man. More than culture is the brand. This is the podcast. Come on, the secret Come on, genius. Right Come on, on now. Nigga, fat, easy, a motherfucker. Boy, Great. Man. <laughs>
Warden Coach is the brand. It's the podcast. Kamal the Secret Genius, Remo Ride, Tyler Chronicles, Ronnie Jordan. Special guests. Yeah. Chico Cornrow yeah, Bean. Yeah, Chico Cornrow. <laughs> Chico Cornrow. Chico Cornrow. Chico Cornrow. We out, man. Yeah, out. Yes, sir. Good, man. Good one. That's that one. What's up, bro?